Hey, welcome everybody. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Homestead Arcana. A brand new game that just came out recently. It's a witch farming fantasy kind of like game. We're going to be playing today. Um, what is, hang on a sec. What is Homestead Arcana? Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you right here. Homestead Arcana, becoming a farming witch and pioneer, the range that has been mysteriously corrupted with miasma. Discover the secret behind its appearance, grow plants to power up your spells, and use nature's magic to heal the land. We're going to be taking a look at this today. Yeah, I think so. It looks kind of cool, right? Uh, some people have been also asking me to check it out as well. This is developed by Serenity Forge and published by Skybound Games. If you want to pick this up, you can right now. It is out. You can go play it on Steam or you can go play it on Xbox. Um, I believe those are the only platforms this is available on. $19.99 USD on Steam. Um, I believe $19.99 USD on console, as far as Xbox console. Um, or, if you want, you can just pick up the game on Game Pass if you have Game Pass PC or Game Pass console. Now, I don't think this game is on the Switch, and I don't think this game is on PlayStation. So the only way to play this game is either Xbox or Steam, just so you all know. I have not gone into this. I have not gone into the, uh, into the audios here. Into the uh, settings here. I think we're okay, though. <laughs> I think we're just fine. Yeah, so that's what Homestead Arcana is, and that's a little bit of information uh, for you on Homestead Arcana. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's a pleasure. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more content by me. And if you want to see Homestead Arcana, more of Homestead Arcana in the future, make sure to, uh, you know, hit the like button or comment down below if you're watching this in the VOD. Yeah, so anyways... um. Hang on a sec, let me just go ahead and uh, get ready for this. It's good to see everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good to see everybody. By the way, hope everyone's having a good Saturday. The weekend is here for sure. So, yeah, absolutely. How are you doing? Hang on a sec, let me see. Can I put this in, um... Can I put this in, uh... <laughs> I think full screen might be my only option. I was hoping there would be like some borderless, but that's that's fine. That's fine. I can work around that. Yeah, good to see everyone. How you doing? What's going on, Jefferson? How you doing, Malachi? Jonathan, Susie, uh, Tierra. How you doing? What's going on, Dark Princess? What's going on, Susie? Did I say Susie? All right, dang it. There's number two on that. There you go, Susie. How you doing? What's going on, Hands On Chibi? What's going on, K-Pop? How you doing, K-Pop? Uh, Betty, what's going on? Misfit, how you doing? Shante, how you doing? Frog, how's it going, Frog? What's going on? Hey, how you doing, Yellow Sergeant Cat? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, any? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. How you doing, the Fashion OG? What's going on? Hey, Rob Humphrey, what's happening? Beans, hello, Beans. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, is this game released? Yeah, this game is released. Yep, yep, yep. This game is released. Hey, Darren, how you doing, Darren? Hey, Charlie, how you doing, Charlie? Hey, Ruth, what's going on, Ruth? Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, so like I said, this game is released. Pick it up on Steam or Xbox. That's the only places, at least that I know of right now. <laughs> so I don't think it's on Switch and I don't think it's on PlayStation, but you can get on Game Pass. Yeah. Oh, uh, by, before we hit start, I want to say a special thank you to the developers for sending me a key to this. I do appreciate it being able to show this off to the channel because I'm sure some people are going to really like this. Hit it up. Let's go. Come on. We got to go. Start it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me going. Now, this game, since it's on, since I'm playing it on Steam right now, I can, if I want to, uh, plug in a controller. It should be 100% uh, controller-friendly, so if that's another question people are wondering, too, this game is most likely, and probably is, I'm going to take a just a shot in the dark here. It's, it's, I'm very confident in this. This is 100% controller-friendly, so if you need a controller, definitely play this game with a controller. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my lord. Body type is, like, questionable. <laughs> Maybe we go that way? I don't know what the body, like, body type as in what, yo? Something? Skin color? I honestly don't want to mess with this because I feel like I'm going to turn myself green. So I'm going to leave it as is. Eye color? I definitely will mess with the eye color. Hit me with the green. Okay, there we go. Options you cannot change after confirming your character. Interesting. So you cannot change any of this after confirming so is that telling me that there's no uh customization in like any of your character's features or anything like that interesting uh nice kind of cool kind of cool right possibly possibly 
Hey, show with the braid, the side cut. All right, all right, very well. Slicked, oh no, please not. Uh, medium long. Mini afro, love to see it. Hit me with the dreadlocks, the shag. The curtain bangs, what the heck? <laughs> Tide locks, oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Twin braids, very nice. The fade. I'm kind of, look, I'm a little biased here. I mean, I have to be, right? I kind of, like, wait, with long clipped? No. I kind of want to go for, like, the hit there, right? I don't know. I mean, this isn't considered hair, right? But they call it hair in this game, interesting enough. Can I go, like, um, there you go. Eyebrow color, please. There we go. We'll go with like the black, I guess, kind of like headband, so to speak. Right? Absolutely. Just talking here. What's going on? How you doing? What's going on? Yeah. Hey, Stephen Crawford. How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome. So, yeah, let's do it. Confirm me. Cans, are you ready to begin your adventure? I really don't know. Maybe. Oh. Ah! Oh, what happened? Yes, I'm ready. Send me. Oh, my God. That was a close one. Hey, Darren. How you doing, Darren? What's going on? Hey, Isha. How you doing, Isha? What's going on? How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. What are you talking about? Green is a normal skin color? Yeah, you know, Kermit. I do love me some Kermit. Hey, Sir Chris Kringle. How you doing? Serenity Forge. Serenity now. Serenity, please. Serenity Seinfeld. The world was not always covered in miasma. Miasma. As a matter of fact, we used to live all over the surface of the earth, in scattered outposts and bustling cities. Whether it was by divine punishment or by consequence of human greed, we lost all those things, and more. These days, folks live on barren mountaintops, Fearing the day the miasma's fog rises high enough to poison what little land there is left. Certainly, there were a brave few who tried to stem the tide. But they paid dearly for it, with nothing in return. No, there is little hope for long-term survival now. Instead, Towns like Little Rock endure to thrive as much as they possibly can. With the time they have left, they establish initiatives like the Homestead Arcana Program, which places witches of age at lower elevations so they may cultivate plants for back home. With the lack of viable land, this means witches settle right next to the border where the miasma lies. Though Little Rock Council cannot officially take action, they strongly advise these witches to avoid the miasma at all costs. For fear of death, or worse. Hmm. Interesting. Well, welcome to Homestead Arcana. Yeah. <laughs> welcome. How you doing, Amy? How's it going? Hey, Amanda. How you doing, Amanda? How you doing, Queen? What's going on? Stop, ain't it? Hey, I, yeah. Hmm? Oh, little kitty cat. Got everything on you, bud? Bud? <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Abraham. <sighs> yep. Well, see you later. Not how I thought the willing, of course. Uh, not how I thought the character would actually look. It was all right. We're good. All right. Let's mosey on down. Wait, who said that? Was that the cat, Huckleberry? Is Huckleberry the cat? Okay. All right. So here we go. So 
What are a couple things that we got going on here? We got a little thing coming on behind me there. Yep. Uh, we got some... Uh, first, we get the quest up there. We got some time. I don't know if we have two times. We have 8.18 and 11.25 over on the other side of the screen there. We got health. First steps. Talk to Huckleberry after reaching the bottom of the hill. Very well. You're not Huckleberry, are you? You're just a cat. What's your name? You're very, very, like... Are you intimidated by me? You might be intimidated. We got a skittish cat, so that's cool. I guess let's go down the hill. Let's do it. Let's send it. Let's send it, dude. Welcome to Homestead Arcana. Now this game, I feel like this game has definitely flown under the radar to some degree. I don't think there has been a really lot of marketing behind it. I don't think a lot of people know of the game. I think it's been shadowed. I feel like it's been shadowed. Especially even though it's like coming from like Xbox, you know? Having it on their Game Pass day one, being released and all that. I, I, I don't know if it's an Xbox Game Studios. Uh, like, I don't know if, the, uh, if Serenity Forge is part of Xbox uh, Game Studios or anything like that. Hey, Trey Boy, what's going on, Trey Boy? He looks like you, come on. How do you? the Dust Eater. That means we've reached our spot. This place is hardly changed. Well, except for all that miasma. Should I turn up the volume? Let me know if I need to turn up the volume. But this is Huckleberry. So you been here? Yeah. And Matilda's old homestead is somewhere in that canyon. Of course, it's covered in miasma now. Who knows what's left? Anyway, Councilman Narrows has given me the honor of overseeing your initiation rites. Normally, he'd be running it, of course, but... I've only been back for a week, you know? I wanted to see for myself how much you've improved since I last saw you. So the first rite is to establish a home. After all, you can't be a homesteader without a home. Unfortunately, you'll need to start off with a tent. Not the most sturdy of structures, but eh, gotta start somewhere. I'll turn it up. I'll turn it up. Okay. Hang on a second. Let me turn it up real quick. Whoop. There we are. We'll turn that baby up. And then if I need to turn down the music, let me go ahead and do that. Homestead's tent. Special placeable item can only be placed in certain ideal spots. Standard issue tent for the Homestead Arcana program. Excuse you. Simple shel shelter is the first step to building a new home in the wilds. Very well. Let me just make sure the... Uh, yep. Yep. And we'll turn down the music just a little bit. 69. That's pretty good. Uh, voiceover will leave at 100 and sound effects at 100 and then we'll go about that. We'll see how that goes. Okay, well, thank you, Huckleberry, I guess. Uh, so now we need to place our tent. Ah, very well. Place the tent here. Very well. Okay, so F. Lift mode. Exit lift mode. Excuse you? Wait a sec. Oh, there's a nice little inventory system here. Nice. Very cool. Very, very cool. I like it. All right, let's build it, baby. Yeah, that'll keep the elements out. Probably. Maybe. Man, even... Worry. You'll get the materials to build a proper house before long. Just like your Aunt Matilda did. It's still very low. The second right demonstrates your botany know-how. You'll need to plant a seedling and then make it grow. We'll start with a little rock favorite. Corn. Corn? Hey, Ella, how you doing? Bought this game last night and got stuck at a part near the beginning, hoping to see what Kans does to get past it. Ooh, okay, interesting. Let me know if, uh, you know, you if I get to that spot where you're like, oh, yeah, this is where I'm stuck at. Plantable item, the humble beginnings of the tall stalk of corn. A few sprouts are poking through the bag already. Okay, so plant the corn seedling. I'm assuming over here or maybe anywhere. Maybe anywhere, though, right? Missing shelter upgrade, okay. Very well. Yeah, I'm assuming anywhere is fine. I don't know what lift mode means. What the heck does lift mode? Uh, plant? Maybe under the tree? 
Ah, under the tree. So anywhere in the dirt, it looks like, yeah. You can see the kind of yellow circle running around it here. There we go. Right. Now I want to see you cast a watering spell. A watering spell. Uh, da -da -da -da. That's how I do my watering spell. Water or channel water. Whoa. That should help it grow. At least a little. Of course, channeling is much more effective. My like voices are so low, dude. You know how to channel, right? Um, no, can you remind me how to channel? Or Chanel? Stop pulling my tail. I've seen you channel before. <sighs> Channeling is that thing you do where you pull mana from the earth and guide it through the plant, making it instantly grow. You know, channeling. Now stop making me look like a fool and show me you can channel. Hey, Maggie. How you doing, Maggie? Hey, Beans. How you doing, Beans? Hey, Hell Pie. By the way, thank you, Kelly, for the five months. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Channeling. Start channeling. Oh. So, Earth Mana is attracted with your cursor? Oh, you gotta go get all the Earth Mana, yeah? Hey, alright. This is very interactive so far. As far as, like, growing stuff. When a yield is ripe, you can harvest it. With no tool acti active, select the yield using and drag it off the... Wait, okay. So, wait. Do I start channeling again? How often can I channel? As often as you want, baby. Keep growing! Okay, we see one little corn. Two little corn. I'm assuming this is taking some sort of something, right? Hit it again! Hit it again. Let's go. Give it to me again. We want a tall stock of corn. <clears throat> hey, Given. How you doing, Given? Oh, this is purple now. Whoa. This would be interesting if I was definitely playing this, I guess, with a controller. So, plant blight. Channeling, channeling too much will, will infect your plants with miasma. Sick plants will stop growing. They will heal over time, or you can make a liquid somewhat. Whatever the rest of that said. So shoot, you over-channeled the plant, and now it's blighted. Great. Next time, you should really look at look out for the signs. Mana getting purple, all that stuff. You have to wait until the plant heals. Although, Huck might know a better solution. You don't remember much about Aunt Matilda. But you do recall she had a knack for making useful el elixirs. Oh, shoot. There's that word again. I always fail with that word. Okay. Um, I mean, but honestly, wouldn't we just want to, like, just, like, harvest? Yeah, harvest the stock. So, stock. Material used for crafting. Surprisingly sturdy and versatile. Corn stalks are typically used for furniture, though it's sometimes also used as a stabilizer for plant medicine. Okay, so give me the stock, please. Should I harvest the corn? Harvest the ear... Of corn, the ear of corn. What the? F I guess this is the ear. Material used for crafting and consumable, stable maize, fast growing and plentiful. Most households eat it daily, and only a few know about its applications w in witchcraft. Beautiful. Yeah. Imagine if you couldn't channel, huh? Your plants would take forever to grow. All right. Of course, you don't want to overdo it and blight the poor thing. All things in moderation, right? Yeah. Second ride is complete, and now time for the third. And I feel like he's You'll still so low. You'll yourself as a witch by building a cauldron and then brewing spell potions. I get now, to build I a cauldron? Give you a cauldron. That's part of the witching test. But technically, a workbench doesn't have anything to do with being a witch, right? I guess not. So basic workbench, replaceable item, station used for crafting, a mechanical table used to automate the crafting of tools and furniture, a technolo technological marvel which saves not only time, but the loss of fingers. Well, that's good. So, alright, so place the workbench. I'm going to exit out of my purple corn. And I guess we're going to go place a workbench, possibly, maybe over here. Use a crafting station to turn better items into harvest or find into even better items. Okay. Let's build it. I guess I can put it anywhere, right? Uh, not anywhere, anywhere. I'm gonna place it right here. Uh, don't mean to nag, but 
Are you sure that's the best place for it? I don't know. Moving it to a better spot. What? And try moving it to a better spot? <laughs> what are you talking about, Mr. Huckleberry? Is this not uh, is this not efficient? Building in plants that have already been placed can be moved or returned to your inventory? Is this just a tutorial? Is this is it like a, a lift? Oh, is that what lift is? What do you mean move it to a different spot? No, sir. This is the spot it's going to be in. You either like it, you love it or you list it, baby, okay? Hmm. Not sure if that's a good spot for it either. Uh, no matter. <laughs> if you change your mind, you can just move it again. Okay, I think that's just telling me that I can move stuff. The cauldron. Oy. You'll need wood for the foundation, lavender for purification, and metal for the, well, cauldron. Okay. You can get some of those things in the meadow to the north, but that's blocked off. Luckily, I have all the ingredients you need. You're one magical little cat, are you? Hey, Benjamin, how you doing, Benjamin? Hey, Jill, how you doing, Jill? Hey, Newish, how you doing, Newish? Good to see you. Corn stalks going to cornholes? No, sandbags going to cornholes, my young man. Uh, Bearded ga Dad Gaming, how you doing as well? Good to see you. Yeah, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Huckleberry is a bit of a micromanager. Facts. Lavender, material used for crafting, commonly used for air purification. Its strong floral scent can relax the senses, but it can also be overpowering when used in conjunction with magic. Wood... Probably the same thing. Metal cluster, probably the same thing. Okay, all right. So third initiation, right? Uh, move the workbench around. Yeah, get out of here. Craft and obtain a cauldron from the workbench. Holy crap. Um, crafting station, garden decoration, homestead improvements. Crafting stations. Basic cauldron. Does that take eight seconds? Craft that, baby. Let's go. There we go. There better not be stuff in this game where it takes like two hours to make. <laughs> I tell you. Okay. Uh, collect that. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. So a placeable item station used for crafting. This reliable potion making device has been around for ages. It has probably existed for as long as there have been witches. Very nice. Probably. All it needs now is something brewing in there and you'll be a real witch. Which brings me to the Excuse me. Right. What did you call me? Potion making. With what you've currently got, you'd only be able to make a ripple potion. But that's all right. Ripple is plenty useful. Oh, right. You need silver. Before you ask, I do have some on me, but uh, these will be the last of the handouts. A ripple potion. Silver currency, also material used for crafting. The only existing currency left in the world. Plentiful enough that witches also use it as mailable, mailable properties for their spells. For their spells, yeah? Okay. All right, well, okay, so craft and obtain a ripple potion from the cauldron. It's getting dark, uh, Mr. Huckleberry. Do you have anything to say about that, you nosy little cat? All right, potions. A ripple spell potion. Can we have the details on this? Spell potion. Highlights items, creatures in sight. Uh, ranges one of the first spells a young witch will learn as it's useful as it's easy to craft very well sign me up it will take five seconds six seconds eight seconds all the seconds to go yeah it's done thank you so spell potion highlights items creatures and sight ranges one of the first spells a young witch uh, exactly what i just said sleep at your shelter to pass the time and heal upgrade your uh, damn it goes by so fast i can't read everything losing things right and ripple is great for finding stuff so this will be a best seller for sure anywho you've just completed the initiation rites so you're now officially a part of the homestead arcana program hooray congratulations thank you your reward lies in... in... Oh, no. Are you okay? What's wrong, Huckleberry? Well, you have to understand, the miasmatides are unpredictable. When I hit it a week ago, the border was a good ten yards away. What I'm saying is, I think your prize is in the miasma. So what? <laughs> Kid, it's the miasma. The air is pure poison, and the things that live in there. It's the miasma. It wasn't going to come to this. Well, not so soon, anyway. 
When you're ready, meet me by the border and listen to my instructions, okay? How could you not know it's the miasma? All right, fine, Mr. Huckleberry. Yeah, what about this plant over here? We didn't learn how to, like, you know, heal it. I guess it'll heal on its own, yeah? Talk to Huckleberry in front of the miasma? Honestly, I'd rather, like, go to sleep in my purple bed. So you can stand out there all you want, Huckleberry, but I'm taking a snoozer. Sorry, buddy. We can kick kick Huckleberry. He has nine lives. He'd be fine. That's true. Yeah, he'll have seven after I'm done with him. Maybe two. Okay, Mr. Talk to uh, in front of the miasma. I tell you, the miasma... Look, the miasma... Miasma is everywhere, no? <laughs> the the miasma is a poison in the air, or no, no, the miasma is a place of poison in the air. There we go, Huckleberry. I see you, buddy. Hi, how you doing? What is that thing right next to you, good sir? What is that? I thought it was a witch hat. Uh, talk to me, buddy. All right. As soon as you walk through that veil, you're gonna be breathing miasma. And you're really going to feel it in your lungs. Oh, okay. So this is... That's why it's important that you find the reward as soon as possible. It's in a crate not too far from here, but it might be hard to see it. Drinking a ripple potion will enchant your sight and help you see better. Come on, give it a sip. Honestly, I didn't think Huckleberry... I mean, Huckleberry is a cute cat and all. I did not know he was going to have like a voice of like Matthew McConaughey. So equipping spells to equip a spell, select a spell slot in your inventory. Uh, I could just send it right now, I guess. Oh. You feel the sweet and sharp tang of the spell go down your throat. <laughs> All right. You should be able to cast it now. Oh, okay. Casting. So once a spell is equipped, it will last a certain amount of time. Being cast, a spell with one. Use the same input to end the spell. Oh, okay. So, I should be able to cast it now. Notice how I'm big and bright? Anything important will light up like I do. Okay, I don't see you. Sorry. Okay. Don't stay too long in the miasma. Keep an eye out for a wooden crate. It shouldn't be too far from the entrance. Okay. Wooden crate. Not too far from the entrance. Got it. All right, here I go. Going into the miasma. I'm in the miasma. Oh my god, it's terrible, terrible here. Oh, you can see your health in the top left-hand corner. Get blasted. Blasting power used to clear pathways blocked by pink porous uh, crystal. An incredibly rare item nowadays, as its crafting materials can only be found in locations now covered in miasma. Okay, I got the crate. I'm gonna choke the death on the miasma. My goodness. The miasma almost took me out. Huckleberry. You okay? Are no. You How's your breath? Your blood pressure? How's your breath? How do you go from are you okay? Are you dizzy? How's your breath? Your blood pressure. Hey, are you okay? Are you gonna pass out? Do you need a Mentos? Oh, by the way, you have high blood pressure. Uh, well, I'm, I, I do feel. Sun on high. It's bad, isn't it? Okay. No, this is fine. We just need to get you to eat something. Right. Give me some corn. Blasting powder, right? You should be able to use it to destroy the pink stone that's blocking the path up north. Okay. Over there, we should be able to get you a quick bite to eat. All right. So use the blasting power to unlock the path to the western field. Western field. West End girls or West End guys? East End boys and West End girls. Maybe I'm doing that backwards. <laughs> Maybe it's the Eastern girls and Western guys. No, no, it can't be that. It has to go the other way, right? Okay, use the black. All right, so here we go. Blast the power or blast the powder here. Break the rock. Incredible. So that was one blasting powder. So you see now, there's a wild. There's wild plants everywhere. You bet you could even find a bush of metal if you looked hard enough. But first, you need to find an apple. If only to make your familiar worry less. I guess my familiar is Huckleberry. 
So on the or out in the wilds, you'll find resources that you can't you can't cultivate on the homestead, such as wood, metal, and wild produce. Keep your eyes peeled for such materials to craft new recipes. Okay, very well. Oh, might turn me into an Arby's. <laughs> Crab apple tree. Okay, so one thing about this game is kind of interesting is the whole like interacting on the crop so far. I kind of like it. Harvest the crab apple. Hell yeah, brother. Materials used for crafting only found in the wild. Mildly sweet, incredibly juicy. The possibilities are endless. Yeah, anything that's incredibly juicy juicy has uh <laughs> endless possibilities. Oh, a crab apple. Give it a bite. Oh, okay. Right. So there we go. Now, do I water my tree? <laughs> Or water a tree. Can I water this tree? Probably not. So the red potions indicate your health. When you run out of health, you will get knocked out. And items still claimed by the miasma will return to their original locations. Heal health by eating certain kinds of food or by sleeping at night. Okay, very well. Uh, there's like an apple. Can I get like a little bit of a zoom out here? There's like an apple like right there. There you go. Pull that one off. Thank you. Ew. Ew. Is that a real apple? Is that, I guess it's a crab apple that looks like... Ew. <laughs> sure, dude. Nasty. Alright, there we go. We got a couple of apples now. So let's eat the apple. Let's consume it. Feeling better? I don't know. You should keep looking around here, by the way. Lots of wood, metal, various herbs and spices. Now, I understand that you might want to explore the miasma some more. But there are other things you can be doing. Okay. For example, Abraham should be coming back any time now. And when he does, he'll have useful things to buy. Okay. Oh, I think you have mail. You should always be checking your mail. Never know what's going to be in there. I wanted this voice for this cat to be so cute. But he's like... Like, he's a roommate. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, I'm dealing with a roommate here. Okay, very well. Um, I don't need another hit of apple. I think I'm good. So thank you. Is there anything else I can find around here? I guess so, yeah? Tend to the wild onion. Give me the wild onion. How about that? Wild onion material used for crafting, only found in the wild. An onion forage in the wild, sweeter than the traditional onion. Toxic to the most animals. But the effects on familiars are unknown. Very well. Thank you for the uh, onion. Appreciate it. Uh, ooh. Nope. Those are just butterflies. Alright. What is this? A compost? Item used on plants. Boost the speed of plant growth. Great use for scraps. Oh, okay. Nice. Adding compost. Compost speeds up the plant. Okay, alright. Very well. I guess I'm assuming somewhere you get wood. A journal. Homesick letter. Home has consumed my thoughts of late, perhaps because I've spent the same number of moons out here as I did during my upbringing in Little Rock. I can never get them to understand why I applied to the program. They're still trying to get me to come home, but I can't. I don't want to. Some work, uh, so much work to be done. The wilds are, wilds are more my home now than Little Rock ever was. Maybe someday, if they venture outside the village and see the state of the fields, they'll begin to comprehend Topher, Cloves, Summer 19th, uh, 189. I learned uh, yesterday that Topher is, uh, is, a, is a nickname for Christopher. That's what I learned yesterday. <sighs> That's pretty good. <laughs> There's like a cave over there I kind of want to look at. Let's get some more onions. There we go. Thank you. I see that the compost is now an option whenever I interact with plants now. That's pretty cool. I wonder how in-depth the farming will be in this game. <gasps> oh, I thought that was a bunny, but it was freaking Huckleberry. Yeah, I wonder how in-depth the farming will be in this game. The, the apple actually looks like a crab. Hey, Bernard, how you doing, Bernard? What's going on? You can channel the wild onions. I can Chanel the wild onions. Metal. This is metal? Metal clusters. Thank you. Thank you. It's like, e even if you click on it, it doesn't matter. You have to, like, 
pull it off of the stem, which is actually kind of cool. So then, could, <laughs> would you want to water the? <laughs> would you want to water the metal? I don't know, dude. Uh, give me this. Pull it off. Pull it off. Pull it off. Yeah, you gotta like yank and pull. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. What's over here? It's like a cherry blossom. Probably not. Another compost. I'll take that. The birch tree. Attend to the birch tree. What does the birch tree give us? Anything? Wood birch bark. Okay, material used for crafting. Very well. The bark of a birch tree. The sturdy outer shell is often used for furniture. Oh, baby. Give me the furniture stuff. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What's over there? What the heck is that? Read a letter from Mailbird. Open a parcel bird. Yo, I want to, like, discover the world. Almost. Yeah, what is that? It's like a windmill, dude. <clears throat> Hello? A saffron. I will harvest the saffron. Threads collected from the styles of the saffron flower, a subtle spice used only for special meals. Very well. Thank you. I kind of want that. Give me that compost. Like, what's up there? Anyways, we should probably not trek too far away. We should probably go check our email. Or maybe it's a Twitter bird. I don't know what it is. We'll go check the mail here soon. After I look over here. <laughs> After I explore a little bit more and take some birch from the birch tree. Oh, God. Sorry. There we go. The the zoom in, in the in the looking of the of the items are kind of weird. There we go. Looking of the, the crops, the trees, and all that. This is catnip. Used in many concoctions, but most widely known as ingredient in plant medicine, such as liquid sunlight. It affects all on felines are weaker than leaves. Very well. Give me some catnip, dude. And some more compost. Sign me up. Does this wrap back around, hopefully? Hopefully it does. <clears throat> you can get more straight away. That's probably true. But do I need it right away? Do I need more right away? Uh, not ready. But this is definitely ready. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Let's go see this male bird. Male bird. Do I ring the bell? Come here, male bird. Come bring me all the DMs. All the DMs you possibly have. Oh, wait. I haven't checked to see if there is, and there is, a map. Wait a sec. Is there a map that where you can actually zoom in? This doesn't zoom in. <gasps> no. How does it not zoom in? So this looks like a bird house. That looks like a bird. Mail perch. Open mail. Receiving mail. If you see a mail bird perched here, interact with it to open a letter. Very well. Cans. Little Rock Town Council. This is a reminder that the purpose of the Homestead Arcana program is the delivery of supplemental goods as are required by the Little Rock Council. Occasions may arise where a shortage occurs as their delicate balance of crops, potions, materials, and other supplies. Under such circumstances, we will pay double for the uh, completion of that job. You're doing Little Rock a great service. Remember where you came from, Homesteader. It's what all this is for. Councilman Wilmer Narrows. I have accepted. Now open a parcel bird. Package hutch. This is really cool. I like this. This is a little like, uh, hey, let me go to my P.O. box real quick. I like it. Cans, we're so proud of you. Without folks like you joining the Homestead Arcana program, I fear for Little Rock's livelihood. Instead, we manage to not only survive, but thrive. Pops, Zeb, and I are all going to miss you, but we know you're doing very important work, so we'll support you as best as we can. To start, I've sent over your favorite favorite pumpkin pie ma the witches eat pumpkin pie i guess thank you for the pumpkin pie yep always check your mail and your packages too <clears throat> never know what you'll get and um make sure to take advantage when abraham's here so you can sell your produce for silver hey becca how you doing becca i already said that didn't i 
Look. Hey, Peter. How you doing, Peter? You want to go back into the miasma? Just remember when you're in there that the town still needs you. When you want to go back in there, talk to me. I'll give you a device that'll help you breathe easier. Hey, Auntie Meow. How you doing, Auntie Meow? <laughs> Give me a device that will make me breathe easier. I take it. That is not what a pumpkin pie look. That actually is kind of cool. I don't know what the green stuff is on the pumpkin pie. I don't think I feel comfortable with green stuff on my pumpkin pie. But now it's craftable with the grill, a crumbly bottom, and the smell of nutmeg and cinnamon raids the senses. Okay, I take it. Cool. So talk to Huck about going back into the miasma. Well, come here, Huck. Where are you going, buddy? Actually, you know what? It is getting late, though. <laughs> Can we turn in for the night? Let's turn in for the night. I don't want it to be so dark. Must be night. You're, kidding, you're, you're telling me this is at night? Was it 1900 is night? Hang on, let's see if 1900 is night. It's either 1900 or 2000. Wait for it. 1900 is night? Yeah. <clears throat> How much is this game? $20. 1999 USD or you could get it on Game Pass. If you want it on Game Pass. If you have Game Pass, you can get it on Game Pass as well. Let's talk to... Yeah, let's talk to H uh, Huck now. Yeah, there's not enough whipped cream on that pie. I agree. Not enough whipped cream. You gotta have. You gotta overdo the pumpkin pie with whipped cream. I agree with that. Hey, Harry, how you doing, Harry? This is a mask for protection. It won't stop the poison from reaching your lungs, but it'll slow it down. Mm. Tilly, your aunt Matilda, found it years ago during one of our expeditions. Again, it's not going to make you invincible. And it definitely won't protect you from the wildlife out there. But it's better than nothing. <laughs> anyway, if you're insisting on going out into the miasma, you might as well try and find something useful, I guess. Tilly's old homestead isn't far from here. Maybe you can find her grill. And that way you don't have to keep eating raw apples and corn. Okay, so Tilly's homestead, go there in the miasma. See if we can find her grill. All right, all right. So find Aunt Matilda's grill in the miasma. So now with this, right? Oh my God, that's a big pumpkin pie. He gave us, did he give us the ability to... Okay, my good man. Were you saying about a breathing machine? Were you? Huh? Some breathing device. Let me see in the crafting here. Let me go check the recipes real quick. Um, yes. Let's see here. No. Homestead improvement storage chest. Oh, that's kind of cool. Waymaker. Wait. Way marker. Sorry. Way marker. That's kind of cool too. Scarecrows. Okay. Very good. I'm scared to go in there without having to do my potion. So let me get a potion going, my good man. Right? Was this the corn one? Yeah, this was the corn one. I guess I could pick from the corn here. There we go. Ugh, nasty corn probably. Now wait a sec. Uh, recipes. They say we can find recipes um, out and about. So we probably should have, maybe when we were at the crab apple, maybe possibly find a recipe, right? <clears throat> Let's see. So that's where we were before, right? That has to be the crab apple. 100% sure. Yeah, that has to be the crab apple. How's it going? Um, I can give him something. Maybe I can give him some catnip, dude. Yeah. Hey. Wow. Becca. Becca. Becca giving away 10 gifted memberships. Holy moly. Hey. Everybody loves that and enjoys that. Thank you very much, Becca. That was pretty... That was very generous of you. Very generous of you. Thank you very much. Holy crap. Ten gifted memberships. I mean, ten people just got a uh, slap in, in the face with a membership. Very well. That was very kind of you. Yeah? What is that? That was very kind of you. Thank you very much. Big ups to you. Can I pet Huckleberry? Can I pet you? Hmm. Uh, I want to pet you. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. All right. How what do, let me. Can I feed you? Yeah. What is that? Can I give you uh 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 not a wild onion maybe? Uh no, we don't want to give anything toxic. Uh catnip. Maybe give him a flower? No. 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 Tastes okay, but I'm not feeling anything. Oh okay, right. Well, at least you've had something. How's it going? Why well, if you chat with him too? Want to talk about? Um ask about blight cure. Ah, ask about farming, ask about little rock. More options. Yeah, what about the blight, uh, blight, blight cure? Uh, yeah. Um, you can maybe tell us a recipe for that. Just give it some time and it'll heal by itself. Or not. Maybe that's the cure to that. Your Aunt Matilda also came up with a recipe for an instant cure. Mm, Aunt Matilda did. It liquid sunlight. But I admit some of the ingredients may be hard to get. It was, I know, right? I know, that was the cringiest thing ever, wasn't it? That absolutely sounded like a dude making cat sound. I know, right? I was thinking the same thing in my head. Liquid sunlight recipe learned. How's it going? Nice. What, do you want to talk what else can I talk to you about? Uh, farming. Hey, do you remember your first plant? The first one you raised without Ma's help. It was... Now what was it? Well, it was a flowering plant, that's for sure. Flowering plant. I think daisies? Some kind of pansies? You know what? I think you're right. Downright invisible in the snow they were. I remembered you cared for those flowers more than you cared for yourself. <laughs> Sometimes I'd catch you sneaking out in the middle of the night just to watch them. It seemed to pay off, though. Within a week, they were blooming. In the middle of winter, no less. Really showed the power of tender loving care right there. Sure, the magic helps, but the the magic what always helps. To say is, Come on now. It's good to care. Not enough people in this world care anymore. Huckleberry spitting some actual facts. I wonder why they named the cat Huckle Huckleberry. Is that some like lore in the witch, witch world that I don't know about, like a witch universe, like? Why would they name the cat Huckleberry? Like of all the all the all the all the names you could possibly do, you name it Huckleberry? I'm a little confused on that. I'll be real with you. So I have to find the out the, the, the grill and the miasma. I guess I can go make the potion. Let's go make the potion. I don't think I'm gonna be able to survive though, that's my problem. Like we only have three health. You know? You know, you know? Anyways, potion, oh, tools, liquid sunlight. Well, there's your liquid sunlight. Applied correctly, it has the potencies to remove the adverse effects of over-channeling plants. Okay, that's good. Uh, which could be the corn that we have. Let's make the ripple spell now. Okay, because we I think we needed another hit of that. Very well. <clears throat> Huckleberry sounds kind of corny. I could feel you on that one. Oh, it actually tells you when this is ready to go. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Cool. I guess we go in? I don't know, dude. I feel like we're gonna die. But, I, I, here we go? Who knows? Maybe not. The only Huckleberry I know is Finn. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? That's kind of wild. Alright, well, I guess we're fine. I wonder why the he didn't give us the mask like, up there and said, okay, anyways. Uh, hit me with that. Let's go. Oh my god. This is wild. What is this green? I'm going for the green. Plants in the miasma. That looks terrifying. Don't touch it. It looked like it was going to bite me. <laughs> I don't want a plant that bites me. What the heck is this, dude? A bunch of compost and lavender seedlings. Lavender seedlings. Seedling brimming with purple petals. Even if it's early form, powerful scent can be detected. 
read a hint. Vision of the claimed. While hunting for treasure, I passed out at some point, and when I woke up, all the things I gathered were gone. They returned to where I found them. A sign from Sun? Uh, possibly. I'm hoping that so long as I can get out there, out he out of here, conscious. Get out of here conscious? Oh, I see. The miasma won't take the goods back. All this salvage, all these rare plants, they're simply too valuable to leave behind. Okay, alright, I feel ya. You mean all the stuff that's gonna bot me? What is this? Stash. What the hell is that? Stock? Is that what that is? And wood? Okay. Treasure! Fruits I haven't seen in ages. Usable silver and linen. Even recipes for things I've never heard of, and they seem to appear randomly without reason. Puck has always makes always makes it a point to de, uh, demonize the miasma. Bless his heart. I but I don't think he understands how useful it can be. I cannot wait to show him what I found. Okay. Gotta pick that up. Tomato seeds. Oh, nice. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, Matilda's house is somewhere to be, somewhere to be, somewhere to be. That's a house, so it must be Matilda's, and it looks kind of creepy if I'm going to be honest with you. Take the journal. The Fielding uh, Gilbert Method. Examining the effects of the miasma spreading corruption have yielded critical results in the efforts to seize its spread. This, lead to the this led to the establishment of the Fielding Gilbert Method. This requires concocting a fertilizer that is poured into the miasma scar, wherein the inner dust eater burrows into the infected earth and absorbs the miasma. The roots, if able to prosper, also double as a, a suture for the terrain or terrain wound and seal the pocket from lethal miasma burst while mon monumentally monumental in the academy's campaign to eliminate the miasma. Very well. What is this? Inventory full? Make space? Yeah. What is it? old blanket shoot oh here we go time to play some inventory uh tetris uh frick me uh yeah 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 can we rotate we can't rotate stuff are you out of your mind what do you mean you can't ro oh rotate yeah you can rotate you just click it perfect send it Good job. Old blanket. One of Amatilda's old belongings. A small blanket woven from coarse yarn. It's badly worn and smells like miasma. <laughs> oh, goodness. Excuse me. What are you? Missing item? Okay. Wait a sec. The house is this way. Tilly, I'm so sorry. So many moons have passed since my last letter, sis. I've had my hands full with the kids. Can's already developed a, a penchant? A penchant? A penchant for magic and Zeb's found an affinity for fabrics. I sense a lot of you in cans. Fast <laughs> look, fascinated by the myst mysteries of the world, rarely satisfied with the answer given, and always feeling and in, uh, falling into trouble. I know you always wanted me to come with you, but you ought to understand that we all have different callings in life, and mine is looking after these children. I'm sure Huckleberry is treating you well, Marv. Is this a letter from Pops? Sending mail birds. I guess we'll have to send mail birds? Interesting. Huh. Hey, Molly. How you doing, Molly? Did I say hello to the Soul Empress? Good to see ya. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, Mary. How you doing, Mary? What is this? Another... This is cotton seedlings. I'm not gonna be able to get everything here. Actually, well, no. I'm not gonna risk it. Not risking it unless I need it. This is a pitch. A pitchfork? A rake? Oh, wait. There's a, there's a book on my back. Has there always been a book on my back? I don't even know, dude. Hello? Pick up fence recipe? Hell yeah, brother. Okay. Matilda, we're here. Up close. The grill seems fairly simple in construction. You'd likely need wood, metal, and maybe an onion to season the pot. On top of the grill, you also notice a jar with a note on it. Very well. To whomever has the means to continue my work, I discovered a way to expedite dust eater growth. Combined with the Fielding Gilbert method, there is tangible hope of fighting back the miasma. Take this specialized fertilizer and pour it down the offending miasma scar. 
Within seconds, a Dust Eater should bloom and seal the Earth's wound. The world wasn't always like this. We can still heal our land. Matilda Gardner, Spring 32nd of YF224. The note really built up this jar. You wonder if Huckleberry knows something about it, and if he'll willingly reveal anything. Jar of something. I definitely need that, dude. Frank! I should have built a storage chest before I came in here now, shouldn't I? Let's get rid of the wood. Oh god, oh god. I hear the beeping in the background. Wait, does it mean this, even if I'm in my inventory, does that also mean, like, they're still gonna get me? Oh no, I'm dying, dude! Wait a sec, no! I can't grab it! I, I, uh... 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 <laughs> oh no! Uh, wood, wood, wood. Birch bark, let's put away maybe the butch bark. Um... Uh, right, 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 right. Um. Oh, God. Let's, can we rotate this? Yeah, let's rotate that. Uh, rotate that, too. Rotate that as well. Push that up. Add that there. Almost, almost, almost. We're almost there. We're almost, we're almost done playing. Let's drop, uh, let's drop a compost. Yeah, drop a compost. We don't need that many compost. That's good. All right. Jar of something, a mysterious item. It is use. It's use is unknown. A jar filled with an unknown substance. Only Matilda Gardner or her familiar may know what it contains. Now we are kind of like getting hit here. We can't go inside the house. I don't think. We need to run back, dude. We got to go back. The whole like health system and everything so far is a, is a, is a little slightly confusing. I will admit. Maybe right now. So we gotta talk to Huckleberry about the jar. Hopefully we don't die, though. Oh, my God. Hopefully we can get back. I can't run or anything now because I think I'm on low health. I was hoping the mask was going to prevent everything, but I guess it doesn't prevent everything. I think uh, Huckleberry told us that, too, that it doesn't prevent everything. Whew. Hey, S1. How you doing, S1? What's going on? Hey, Christina. How you doing, Christina? Good to see you. Welcome in. Oh yeah, eat food. That's a good idea. That's a wonderful idea. Give me some crab apples, dude. See, look at that. There you go. What would I do without Shelby? I don't know. Hell. <laughs> so far, does this game seem worth $20? Uh, I can't give an opinion on that. <laughs> I haven't even played it for an hour yet. But um, if you do have Game Pass, you can pick it up on Game Pass too. Hey, Mackie, how you doing, Mackie? What's going on? Let's go back this way. <laughs> I don't... This is the, the, the plant that does weird stuff. I don't want that. Kind of creepy. Hey, Arden. How you doing, Arden? Can I do something with those? Maybe. Pick up silver? Well, hell yeah, brother. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. How you doing, Hannah? What's going on? Oh, that's weird. That's not creepy at all. Okay. Yeah. Right. Huckleberry, I just saw you. Come here. You're back. Yeah. Do you have the grill? I do. I think. No wait. I know what th that is. I know what it is. But how is it stayed intact? I hate that the voice actors are so low compared to everything else in the game. Um, I love the fact that you're sitting up on your hind legs though. Uh, what is it? It's something your aunt and I came up with. A special kind of fertilizer. But not one you'd use in your garden. Oh. You might have seen a... Hey, Norm. There are these huge cavities in the earth that let out all this miasma. But according to the Academy journals, deep inside those scars are dust eaters. Just like the one on your homestead, only stunted. So in theory, you pour the 
this fertilizer into the scar, and the dust eater instantly grows full size, oh. soaking up the surrounding miasma. Oh, I see. I said, in theory. Truth is, Tilly couldn't get it to work. We didn't know if it was the location, the age of the tree, or what, but it didn't seem to do anything. And she died before we could do any more tests. You're still welcome to try, of course. Just don't get your hopes up. All right, bud? Okay. So scar fertilizer, the original recipe is concocted by Matilda Gardner. This fertilizer uniquely affects the miasma scars to grow the dust eater sapling hidden underneath. They're hiding underneath. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so now apply the fertilizer to the scar in front of Matilda's house. Now we have that on us. That's the scar fertilizer. Okay. Very well. All right. Um, let's turn in for the night. <laughs> And then we'll do that, I guess, run that again in the morning. Oh, crab apple me. Yeah, there you go. Have a little bit of crab apple. So I see that yellow bar up there is like your hunger, right? This is definitely your hunger. Can I cook anything? Actually, is there a station where I can make something rather? Basic grill? Oh, the basic grill, of course. Duh. Uh, right. Right. Let's craft that. Oh, look at that. It actually is like the numbers and the seconds and items and what's being... Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Give me... Ay, 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 I'm such a fool. Actually, I have a freaking fat pumpkin pie. <laughs> hey! Just do that, forehead. Placeable items. The only way to make anything edible in the wilds can be used to cook, bake, and even brew. Man, that pumpkin pie didn't even give me a full hunger uh, hunger bar either. Okay, let's place it. We'll place the grill right there. There we go. Baked goods, corn pudding, corn bread, big fan. Beverages, birch beer, catnip tea, saffron tea, lavender tea, grilled corn, big fan. Grilled onion, eh. Grilled apple, no. Uh, spreads, apple butter. I am a fan of apple butter, though. All right, very good, very good. So we can make some teas if we want, some birch beer. We, can, we can't even make really any... Uh, oh, look at this. So it says two hearts, two yellow, which I'm assuming is probably food. And then these give off blue, which probably is mana, right? Grilled onion, though. Let's get grilled corn. There we go. We'll do grilled corn. So scraps. Never let anything to waste. Material used to make compost. Occasionally created when working with a grill. Oh. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, but I do feel like I need to make a uh, storage chest. Please and thank you. Look at that. Barrel, fence, fence posts, jugs, scarecrows, stools now. More decorations. What do we need for this? A cotton bowl. Is that supposed to be a cotton bowl? Or is that supposed to be a cotton ball? Which one? <laughs> what the heck is a bowl? I don't know what a bowl is, but I can't make that yet. Very well. Uh, okay. Okay. But I should probably plant that for sure. Let's go ahead and plant this. Let's get this going. Plant. It's the tomatoes. Hey, Yvonne, how you doing? Hey, Colin, what's going on? Good to see you. Welcome. Good to see both of you. Hope you're all doing good. Uh, let's go lavender. Let's plant the lavender. There we go. We can obviously tend to these freaking things. Can we water? Yeah. I want to water. Yeah. Water the plant. Yeah. Naturally grow, or shall I Chanel, Chanel, Chanel you? Nah, dude. We'll let you, we'll let you do your thing there. There you go. And as far as you, I'm sorry, but 
You'll have to figure it out eventually. I'm just going to put some water on you, though. I mean, I can make a potion for you, but uh, not right now. All right, so let's see here. Compost. A lot of compost. Well, I guess we could add a compost, yeah. Compost. There we go. All right, save some inventory space that way. Let's do that again. Cool. All right. Well, that works. All right. Sure, dude. Stack that. There we go. Cool. I think we're looking a little bit better now. There. All right. Let's go to bed. And then go see Aunt Matilda's house again and apply the fer fertilizer. Yeah. <laughs> so far, this is pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying myself right now. Yeah. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good time. So hopefully we get that mask back again, right? What was the name of that potion? Liquid Sunlight. Applied correctly, it has the potency to remove the adverse effects of over-channeling plants. Any miasma bulb, catnip flower, and birch bark. So we don't even know what a miasma bulb. Uh, we don't even know what a miasma. Uh, miasma bulb, bulb is yet. Okay, very well. And it said something about a letter. Got a new package. So hey, cans. I bet you're having an exciting time, eh? I've never been one for the outdoors myself, but that's all right. Your little brother has other plans in life. Speaking of which, I've sent over some blueprints for a wardrobe and some instructions on how to make a hat. Yes! I know fashion is more of my area of expertise, uh, but I don't see why you can't expand your horizons a little bit. Think about it. No one's around for miles to judge your looks. It's the perfect time to experiment. Zeb. Wardrobe and a uniform hat. Uh, excuse me. This is a witch hat that I desperately need. Yes. Wardrobe. So some folks believe a homesteader shouldn't think about style or fashion when they're out in the wilds. But said people aren't usually around to tell homesteaders what to do. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Got a couple of mail here. Kaz, hope Huck is looking after you all right. Pops could use some of his snuggles right now. Caught a bit of a cold. He probably needs a break from using all that arcane energy. Zeb's keeping busy with Erica at the village at Taylor's, learning the basics, but he's hungry to design. Ma. Cans, it's Principal Clark. Clerk. Clerk? Principal Clerk? Okay. I was so proud to hear you were selected for the Homestead Arcana program. Always a talented witch. Thank you. I'm afraid I have ill tidings. Uh, the windstorms have been worsening and the schoolhouse sustained serious damage. We've put classes on hold and if we don't get material soon, I'm not sure we'll have a place to teach anymore. If you have anything to spare, we could use help. Miss Clerk. Sure. All right. So far, this whole mailing system to... What the hell is this, dude? Hi, how can I help you? Morning. Morning to you. So you're still alive. Yeah. Hope the mail bird's been working all right for you. They have, actually. Yep. I expect me to come around this time every morning. I'll have an assortment of goods to sell. And I bet you'll have goods you'll want to sell me. Okay. I only take a small cut, of course. Most of this will go straight back to Little Rock. Or to town council, anyway. Also, uh, between you and me, your ma asked me to keep an eye on you. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I thought that's what the cat's there for. Ah, but don't you worry. I won't say a thing if you misbehave. <laughs> not a little kid anymore. Hey, it's fine. You're not a kid. So if you misbehave and get, you know, break the law, I won't, I, I won't tell your mom. It's fine. So he's a real one. <clears throat> Abraham will appear every day in the morning to drop off and collect packages from the package hut. Abraham can only deliver packages when there are empty slots in the hutch. He will buy most things and sell a number of things. Wait a sec. So can I actually send a package? Send 10 metal clusters to Miss Clerk. Okay, so those are things we can do. Very well. Morning. Morning to you, good sir. You got uh, recipes for me. It looks like you do. What do you got? What is this? A birch made recliner, a stool, and a torch. Upgrades? Uh, tincture of strength. Homesteader's house. 
Home upgrade item, usable near your tent, a proper home for a proper witch, built in standard archi architecture from Little, Little Rock. Interesting. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Why the suspenseful music? I know, right? All right, let's eat a little bit of something before we go in, real quick. Hit me with the corn, baby. I mean, don't hit me with the corn, but you understand. I don't need to use no sight uh, potion for this. I know what I'm. I know where I'm going. So I assume I put on the mask right before I go in every time now, or was that a one-time thing? Uh, Huck. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you do you do get to use the mask again. All right, let's go apply this fertilizer, I guess. Go to my left. Everything you own in the box to the left. The can just hide himself in the chicken shed. You're a hoarder like me. It's, that's a nightmare nightmare inventory. So I know, right? Well, uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to get a storage box so bad and just throw all this stuff in. But yeah, I and typically in most games, I'm, I'm definitely hoarding. Pick up cotton seed. Yes, we need that. Desperately. Is there anything over here that I'm missing? No? Okay. Very well. So where am I applying this thing? Apply the fertilizer to the scar in front of Matilda's house. Oh. Pick up the pitchfork recipe. Yeah, yeah. Trellis, sew, pitchfork, journal. Summer of 77th of 207YF. Tilly's homestead journal. Sun bless my return for the miasma today. Uh, though my journey was unsettling, the cloud around me stirred, but nothing was visible. Through the dense fog, I can only describe what I felt as a presence. Maybe it was the miasma itself. Uh, like something was observing me like I've been observing the miasma. My eyes are beginning to droop. Haven't seen Huck all day. I sure hope he knows his way back. Autumn. Twelfth. Huck finally returned to camp. Apparently he made some friends with the local hoppers and got a little sidetracked. That scamp. I also found remnants of the aca uh, the academy. Studies on combating miasma spread and mentions of eradicating it permanently. I wish more saw the value in their research. It's the light and mixed with darkness out here, although I guess that's true regardless of where you hang your cloak for the night. Bless the sun on autumn 48. Bless the sun, I made it out of the miasma alive today. I was looking for scars, close to finding one too. I'm pretty sure. Perhaps that's what happened. Happened? Uh, it was like my filter clogged even though it was freshly crafted. After emerging from the cloud, its presence lingered like I'd bought a piece of the miasma back or brought a piece of the miasma back with me. Huck disappeared again. I trust him to find his way back. After today, I may ask him to stick a little closer than usual. Hmm. Might want to send a family on a response. That's true, huh? <laughs> oh, stash. What's in here? Ripple spell potion. Sick. Wild onion. Also sick. What is this? Birch bark. Very well. What is this? Nothing. I'm all about the exploring, baby. Is this the uh, the thing thing here? Tend the lesser miasma, miasma plant? This can't be the scar, no? But I'm also curious at the same time. Harvest lesser miasma, miasma bulb? Well, we needed a bulb, right? We needed the bulb. Certain members of the Academy theorize they could be used to create strong gardening implements, but the recipes vanish along with the Academy itself. Oh my god. Thank you? Oh my lord, I want to go inside so bad. Is it down there, the scar? Oh. There's something big down there. That is definitely the scar. <laughs> that is definitely the scar. Take the compost, sure. Apply fertilizer. Hey, Serendipity, how you doing? Good to see you.
the Dust Eater has sprouted. The Miyaza seem to be slightly less. You're not sure. Perhaps Huckleberry might know more. Okay. So let Huckleberry know what happened. Sulfur. A rare stone that is warm to the touch can be refined into blasting powder. Yeah, the inventory management I do like. Um, this inventory management, the way they have this here, uh, this whole like thing right here. I'm trying to think of how long ago games started to implement this kind of feature. Um, and I think of like 2011. 2012, 2011 is when I first myself, when I was playing certain other games, this kind of inventory management was starting to be in place uh, with other games. I think 2011, 2012. I think of games like Arma, uh, big thing like that. Uh, games like DayZ, those games uh, have always had an inventory system like this. Now it's interesting because it's starting to slowly, uh, you can start, start to slowly see it come into the um, survival and, and farming type games now. Survival games, farming type games. I just want to see if there's any more. But I do like this kind of inventory management uh, type. It's kind of cool. I like uh, having to kind of strategize behind it. What is this? Nothing? Okay. Huckleberry! Come in your way! Diablo? Probably Diablo. I never played Diablo, though. So probably Diablo, yeah. <clears throat> Hey, John, how you doing, John? Ooh. Uh, there you are. <laughs> so a dust eater sprouted from the ground. He talks so slow. Hello. Well, that must mean the miasma got a little weaker, right? We just need to make more of this stuff. You still have the jar, don't you? I bet you have enough fertilizer left over. You probably just need to add a little filler. Okay, so filler for the fertil. Okay. Asthma, I think cotton will be fine. Okay. Just liquefy it in the cauldron and pour it into the same jar. That should do. Okay. What I'm more worried about is the filter in that mask. It's pretty old by now. Oh God. And I doubt you'll get very deep in its current state. I guess keep an eye out if you find a way to improve your mask. <laughs> I know, I know. Never have played Diablo. I heard great things about it, but I've never played it myself. I know, right? Okay, so topics. Topics can be used while chatting or writing letters in order to prog progress quests and learn more about the world. Uh, so first thing we need to do is... Oh, baby. Uh, first thing we need to do is place this bad boy down. I might channel this, possibly. Put down the cotton. There we go. Okay, cool. So ask someone wordly about masks. Worldly? About masks? Hang on a sec. What was that tutorial said again? It went so fast. Can I see that tutorial piece that it just told me? Tutorial? Uh... We have to send a letter. It went so fast, I didn't get to really comprehend all of it. <laughs> it said something about something, then do something to something, and then you're good to do something. That's what it said. Okay, wardrobe, though. Let's put the wardrobe, I guess. I don't know. I wish I could place it right here. Yeah, put it right there. It's fine. There we go. Get that out of the inventory. Nice. Gonna put the old blanket in there. Oh, so it looks like you can uh, adjust everything. It seemed like in the beginning of the game, it told us, like, warning, you won't be able to do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. This looks good. This looks good. Yeah. Hey, Ambers. What's going on, Ambers? Hey, Gar. Car. Bia, Carbia, what's going on? Liquefy cotton and in the cauldron and add it to the jar. There we go. Thank you. I kind of like this scholar. The light uniform looks cool too. This is actually Woody from Toy Story. 
This is not bad either. Nah, dude, hit me with the scholar. Hit me with the hat. Oh, dude, we're looking so snazzy. Shoes? I guess buckle, buckle, but buckle boots. Yeah, all right. Do you recognize me, Huckle? Okay. So then, that is a fertilizer, scar fertilizer. Check it. Cotton bowls. I don't know what the heck a B O L L is, but there it is. It takes cotton. Okay. We'll look into that. Check to see our other stuff that we've unlocked. Now, wait a sec. The storage chest, which is really what I want, too. Wood, 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 cotton bowls, too. Okay. Very well. Blaster. Blasting powder. Should probably make some of that. Uh, is it worth it right now? I don't know. Okay. Let's get this cotton going. Now, let's water you. Is it already watered? It is already watered. Okay. I guess that blue around it means it's water or we need to channel it. What happens if I channel you? I mean, there you go. Channel it, channel it, channel it. Ah! Go at it. Cool. Have fun with that tomato. The lavender. Let's go ahead and uh, water it. We'll add a little bit, bit of compost as well. Okay. Very cool. Okay, and then, um, I mean, we could, yeah. I guess so. Do a bit of that. I can tell you who to talk to about the mask. Is the person already available in the world, yeah? Is this someone that we... Or do we have to talk to Abraham? Or do we have to, like... Or, uh... Is this person already, like, available... In this world? By the way, thank you, Flo, for subscribing as well. How's it going? What do you want to talk about? Ask about Aunt Matilda. I guess I had this coming. You talked to Abraham? Oh, okay. Here for over that makes sense. And expect no questions asked. It was really hard, you know, until he passed away. I know your folks are forgiving people, but I just couldn't face him. <laughs> Actually, you didn't get to know Aunt Matilda much, did you? She left home when you were, what, five, six? Oh, you would have loved her. She's a lot like you. Probably would have gotten you in a lot of trouble, though. She certainly did with me. The more I miss her every day, the more I it was a different situation than what we've got here. I wasn't planning on looking after her. I just wanted to keep her company. Should have been more careful, though. Things could have been different if I'd stayed. I'd rather not talk about this anymore, if that's all right with you. The more I listen to Huckleberry talk, the more I wish it was kind of like a woman's voice instead. But, you know, I guess that's me just being picky. Channel. Gotta get that cotton coming. Hey, Macarena. Okay, that's blue. We don't want it to get purple. If it gets purple, then that's bad news. So the darker the blues, you know, take it easy, partner. Right? I get it. And we harvest the cotton bowl. Sturdy fibers for crafting lightweight fabric. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. All right. We don't want to overdo it. Tend the tomatoes. Maybe. I should probably eat something as well. Also, maybe. So there's the cotton bowls. Let's go maybe cook something. A red fruit? Vegetable? <laughs> no one is exactly sure in its classification. Either way, no one debates its flavor. That's hilarious. 
Only because we have a history of debating on that stuff. On this channel. Alright, let's hurry up, hurry up. We gotta cook something. Okay. Uh, lavender tea. Let's get the onion going. Oh, look at that roasted tomato. I like it. That's pretty cool. Hey, Isabel, how you doing? What's going on? Isn't the cat's voice actor from Naruto? I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> it looks like a lollipop. Grilled onion lollipop. Shrek would love that. There we go. Get some tomatoes going. And then let me do a little bit of this. Thank you. And that will be ready by the morrow. Oh, you sleep in your full outfit. Very well. That looks so pretty. Doesn't it? It does look pretty. Oh, Abraham's here. Tomato roasted on a grill. One should wait for it to cool before uh, biting into it as the juices tend to burn. Oh. Wow, you're majestic. Okay, mail. S salutations, Cans. This is the Little Rock Anonymous, a club that works with the citizens of Little Rock to ensure they receive goods uh, not deemed necessary by town council. From time to time, we will send you a posting uh, by one of your or one of our fine neighbors. Now, we don't have the funds for monetary or material compensation, but one of our members has Little Rock's oldest pattern book. Uh, and we'll give page we'll give out pages for him in, in return. You'll be learning our shared culture and heritage piece by piece. Interested? Here's one to get you started. Whoever said that there whoever said there's too much corn in our town is crazy. Not everyone has to like it, but they should at least try all the various ways for it to be served. You know, I agree. There's a lot you could do you could do a lot of things with corn. You can. You could do a lot of things with corn. Any packages today? No. Hello, Abraham. Morning. Morning to you. Uh, let's chat. About what? Um, about the mask. Yeah. Starring Jim Carrey. In that mask, and uh, going to places you probably shouldn't be going to. Hey, now I promised I wouldn't say a thing. In fact, I might have something that may interest you. It's an old academy manual with instructions on how to make your mask last longer in the miasma. <laughs> but I can't give this away for free. Well, it could be dangerous material. But I am still running a business here. You understand? I guess so. so until you can cough up 100 silver, it'll be sitting right here in my inventory while supplies last. Why supplies last? I'm just kidding about that last part. Is a blue light special? I'm not dumb enough to sell this to anyone else. Very well. Do I have a hundred silver? I don't think I do have a hundred silver. Morning. All right, shop time. What do you got today? Uh, a whole lot of nothing, do you? Pitchfork, torch, and milk. Very well. Uh, do I have anything to sell to you though? Swap signs. I have sixty-six silver. Sell to Little Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, how much would you give me for one compost? Pleasure doing business. Quite a bit, actually. What about birch bark? Birch bark for us is easily to come by, for the most part. What about saffron? Saffron's pretty easy for us to come by as well. Um, scraps can't be sold, obviously. Stock, and uh, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Let's sell you some more wood. Let's give you a full stack of wood. And one left over. That gives us a hundred. Morning. Morning to you. No, no, no. Morning. Morning to you. Let's About chat now. What? About. About what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> I was hoping uh, buy the mass aug augment recipe. Okay, yeah, hang on. Let me buy that from you, my good man. Do you have the mask on you? Upgrades. 
Mask argument. Very well. I see a hundred. Thank you. We have now done it. Using the cauldron, make a mask argument. Very well. That's the grill. Okay. What do we need for that? Wild bat feather, lavender, and two cotton bowls. Where the hell do you get wild bat feathers? I guess in the wild <laughs> somewhere. Okay. Hopefully not in the um, miasma. It could be in the miasma. All right. Very well. Wow, dude, that, that really... We have a lot now, don't we? A lot, a lot. I need to make a chest, dude. I do. I do, I do, I do. I think I need to grow more tomatoes, too. I need to fix my corn as well. There's so many things to do. Uh, no. I would like to do this. Catnip, miasma bulb, birch bark. Okay. So birch bark would actually help us with that. You're stuck on this part, so you might be stuck on the uh, on getting the the bat wing or the bat thing, my bobber. Yeah, is that what what you might be stuck on? Yeah, finding the bat part. It took you forever to find the bat feather. So is the bat feather in the miasma? In the miasma? Is it in the mi in miasma? Miasma? Or is it not? I haven't really explored over here. The bat feather. It is. Okay. Thank you. Good shout. Hang on a sec. Let me see what it takes one more time for the storage. Uh, what does the way marker do? Craftable. A lantern used originally by merchants to light their path. Should their route be taken by miasma? Okay. wood okay i need wood i need wood and birch if i'm going to do a couple things here at the homestead here at the homestead uh probably should think about also uh watering yeah that's not a bad idea i think this is already watered it is okay let's go get a couple of bark birch bark and regular bark When do bats have feathers? <laughs> Get a couple of crab apples while we're here. It's always good to have just maybe a lot of food. I don't know. Like, is there a zoom out option that I'm missing here? I won't get the onion, though. Can I go into the water? No. Okay. Is it this way? Oh my god, that is a long drop. Don't put me there. Bats would be in caves in real? In real life, do they uh, do they follow the logic in the game? Um What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm assuming, uh, no. Right? Probably. Okay, that's enough birch for us. You have bats that entered your apartment? Oh my god, that sounds terrifying. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the bats. No. They fly around where we live. It's kind of freaky dude especially at night they're just so big and disgusting oh a little bit of cave i think i've been in here oh yeah this is where the scrap metal is okay yeah scrap metal very well every time we go like every every night 
especially during the summertime uh during the night when we go in like when i go do my uh nightly exercise or, sorry my weekly exercise then it's like when i go play softball and stuff like constantly when we're playing at night bats are just flying above our heads it's really gross because they have like some sort of den that they live by nearby it's disgusting i hate it you, one could say i'm not a fan of of bats storage chest thank you I love these decoration things, though. Okay. 30 seconds, and then I'll be able to do what I need to do, what I can do. Um, liquid sunlight. Let's get that going, too. There we go. And we'll kind of help out the corn a bit, yeah? Oh, I need metal for the school, Floret! You're right! You're right! I do need metal for the school. You're so right. Already chests used to store whatever one may wish to stash very well. Um, is that facing the right way? Guess so. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just like, can we shift click? Can we shift click? Transfer Q, sick. Lavender, scraps. I don't know if we need it, but we'll keep it. Put all this stuff. Uh, stack those. Keep those. I don't know what the heck to do with this blanket. Small blanket for... Uh, it smells like Matilda. Maybe put that to the side for now. Let's put the combos away too. Catnip we could put away. I'll cook some more apples and possibly tomatoes. Sulfur I could probably put away for now. Wood, maybe. This is all to be determined. I'll hold on to the potion. Hold on to the food. There we go. Oh god, is it already dark? Man, it got dark fast. Should probably eat some while we're here, too. Okay, this is done. Let's grab this. Applied correctly, it has the potencies to remove the adverse effects of over-channeling plants. Thank you! Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Cooked produce. Yeah, roasted tomatoes. Absolutely. Hey, Alex. How you doing, Alex? What's going on? <laughs> Eight months, YouTube. I've been counting. <laughs> oh, very good. Thank you for the re-up. I appreciate it. Very kind of you. Hope you're doing well, yeah? Crab apples. Okay, cool. We can do crab apples next. Transfer. Or just slide them in to the DM. Uh, continue. There we go. Nice. All right, we'll cook up some food. Yep. Thank you for the re-up, though. Appreciate it. Very kind of you. Hey, Lindy. How you doing, Lindy? What's going on? There we go. Cooked on a grill. The apples become extremely soft and sweetness becomes extremely concentrated. Very well. Yeah, doing. I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good as well. I can hear them flying around outside. That's the thing, dude. Bats. Hearing those sons of guns going around outside. There we go. All right. So let's add that potion, maybe. How do we do that if we wanted to add the potion? Potion? Drop? No. Um... Not entirely sure. <laughs> <laughs> how I would use the potion. Has anybody used this potion? And knows how to uh, use it. Uh, 
I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Very well. Let's go to sleep. Let's sleep on that one, shall we? Press one, perhaps? Mm. I was hoping to select it. Equip, maybe? That's what I thought, too. Can't equip it into there. Can't equip it as a spell. Watering is one. I assume it would have been four. Because one, two, three, I'm assuming there's a fourth. There has to be a fourth, right? That has to be four. Item is used on plants, applied correctly. Yeah, I don't know how to equip it. I don't know how to use it. Interesting. Hey, Abraham. Couple of letters. Hey, kiddo. Feeling better after taking a break from all the arcane energy? We all need time to rest from time to time. Ma dug up a box of childhood drawings. I had a giant head and Huckleberry had extra legs. Another was just a purple cloud. You ever think uh, kids can sometimes see things uh, us adults can't? On <laughs> That's kind of crazy. On second thought, forget it. It's probably nothing. Pops. Salutations! This is Little Rock Anonymous here with another request from one of your fine citizens. All of my stations have broken down. I can't build. I can't brew. And I can't cook. It's absolutely misery. So, what is? what are you asking? Yeah. Hey, Lego Mom. How you doing, Lego Mom? What's going on? You've been watching for a long time. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, I don't know how to use it. Interesting. I guess that will be determined. To be determined. Alright, anyways. Um, let's go and find bat feathers now. Which I am assuming is somewhere in here. You must go find some bat feathers. I hope you find out how to use it. I know, right? Me too. Alright, going in. Now, I don't know what these spiky balls do. Do they hurt me? Okay, good. They don't hurt me. There's this freaking thing over here, too. This is the thing that... Yeah, yeah. This is the miasma, miasma bulb. I'll take it. Anything else over here? I'm going to check everything. I guess, you know, I honestly, should have probably used the sight, um, sight potion now thinking about it. Should have made another, another one of those if I'm looking for feather or a feather. Silver, I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, blasting powder. Yeah, I'm going to need that. Let me go get blasting powder. Yep, yep, I feel it. I feel it. It's going to, I'm going to need to go that way. Okay, we can go make some blasting powder. Got it. Understood. I see what you're putting down there, game. All right, let's go blasting powder. And then maybe even make a sighting potion as well. Nice. Okie dokie, artichokey. Um, let's see here. Potions. Ripples. What do I need for this again? Corn and silver. I can't get corn because my corn is not being healed. Ay, 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 ay. I'm going to channel you again before you know it. Wait a sec. This isn't good. <laughs> uh, my good man. Hello. Morning. Morning to you. Uh, what do you have for us? A date sugar. What is this? Linen? You wouldn't have any corn on you, now would you? Okay, so sight potion is not going to be it. And I don't think I have any corn in storage. I do not have any corn in storage. Okay. So let's just make the um, blasting powder, which we're going to need the sulfur for. Okay. Sulfur, sulfur. Nice. This. But nope. Nope. Yep. There we go.
Hey, Wolf Over, how you doing? What's going on? Here we go. All right, let's go blast it, yo. Yeah, it is too new. I don't know if there's like any like guides, wikis, or you know, I don't even know if they have their own Discord. This game, I kind of said it earlier uh, at the beginning of the stream, but to me, this game really flew under the radar. They didn't really market this game at all. I feel like there was zero marketing for this game. Um, I didn't know about it until maybe a week before it came out, and then uh, I was given a key for it, and I was like, oh, okay, nice. Uh, I don't think a lot of people know about this game. <laughs> They're going to open up their game pass and be like, oh, what's this game about? Probably play it and get as confused as anybody else. Or they're going to be searching on Steam and be like, oh, yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> and get confused as well. So, I, you know, I don't know. Probably eventually. But this game did come out, I think, yesterday. Yeah, this game came out yesterday. What is that? Tomatoes. Oh, more tomatoes. Can I get a corn? These uh, tinctures are especially valuable. The red ones improve the ventility, while the blue ones increase your capacity. I need to make sure they don't fall into the wrong hands, or else. Interesting. Corn! Hey! Resilience. A tincture of resilience permanently increases your ability to endure bodily harm. Resolve. More mana. Okay, maybe this wasn't where the bat stuff was. Okay. Instead, this was other cool stuff. Very well. That's kind of cool. I'd take that now, dude. Oh, wait, I guess I can't take it now, maybe. Can I take it now? Consume. Yeah, I can. Okay. There we go, there's a permanent health upgrade and a permanent uh, mana upgrade as well. Is there anything else I'm missing? Some silver there. Cool. I'm tempted to go that way. <laughs> oh, my exploration is getting crazy. No bulbs. Okay. All right. So now we'll just look for the uh, the bat bat feather. I'm assuming it's gonna be on the ground or something. Maybe. Probably. Or if there's like a cave in here that I need to look for, look for a cave. Is that another stash? It's a wild onion. Maybe I didn't get everything the last time. So we know about that way, and this way we've gone. That is kind of cave-esque down there. It's water-esque. I don't know why I'm thinking cave. I'm thinking cave, 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 but that's just what I think about when I think of bats, I guess, yeah. Ooh. I guess we haven't gone this way. No, nothing over there. Do witches not like water? Ooh, we have not been this way. Kind of running out of time on my mask, though. Desperately running out of time. Vision of Burrows. Well, I plan to sneak into the academy to see if there was anything salvageable. But these hoppers, you take one step too close, they attack. I am wholly unprepared. Ripple would at least let me see their range of sight. I require more corn. Okay. That, yeah, I, I get it. I guess there's baddies down here maybe as well. Oh, shut of a gun! Holy, you uh, coward! Okay, all right, let's reset. We got to reset. I'm running out of time on my mask. Holy hell. That scared me? Why? 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 Just why?
Why? Was that necessary? <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, Alex, how you doing, Alex? What's going on? Don't you remember to the what happens to the Wicked Witch when she got splashed with water? Oh! Get me the hell out of there, man! What is happening? That place is becoming more terrifying, like, more... Uh, I'm scared. What the heck, man? I don't approve. <laughs> but I do I do respect the fact that they gave us another corn. That we probably won't over-channel. ay ay ay. Crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. There we go. So we, we can at least get corn through here now. I hate that... Uh, yeah. I hate that I can't fix the other one, but that's alright. Okay, we'll do a little bit of water. I'm going to do a little bit of compost as well. Give me a sec. There we go. Hey, Huckleberry. You don't even want to know what I just went through. With the compost. Give me a little bit of Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. I know, need to something to defend ourselves with this. I agree. Give me something to defend myself. I don't need to channel it too much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of corn action. That's it. Okay. All right. Give me the corn. Thank you. Let me water this. Compost it. There we go. Hey, Ever Rose, how you doing, Ever Rose? That was that was the sign your mask was about to run out. That's a terrible sign. What kind of? <laughs> You're telling me when your sign's about to run out, they like they do Freddy vs. Jason on you? What the heck is that, dude? Might as well tend to my crops while I'm here. Terrible sound. There we go. Okay. So we can at least make that potion now. Let's make one of those. Thank you. We're still working on the uh, the wild bat feather, which I have a feeling now I know where it's at. Oh, Lord. Okay. Give me this. Very good. Hold the corn. Let's put the corn away, actually. Oh, my nose. Okay. Put the corn away, and let's cook up some things and get ready to go to bed. And then in the morning, we'll take another run at it the right way. Lavender tea. It's mana. We don't want mana, really. Not right now, at least. We want this. Onions and tomatoes. Onions and tomatoes. Creepy crawlies. That's a note for me. Not a game for me. No, thank you. Removes from the wish list. <laughs> it's too intense. Too intense for me. No, back, back out. Back out. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Back out. <laughs> Hey, Game Station, how you doing, Game Station? What's going on? You had a ripple the whole time, bottom left of your inventory? Ah, yeah. I blame you, Hannah, for not picking that up faster. You should have told me sooner. I blame you. <laughs> I'm the streamer. I can blame whoever I want. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's eat this. Okay, now let's go to bed, and let's go. Okay. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Okay, looking good. The crops are looking good. Did I get any mail in? I did. Salutations. This is Little Rock Anonymous here with another request for one of our fine citizens. I've been craze craving cheese lately. I know it's such a rare delicacy, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to ask. All right. Hello, kiddo. Or hey, kiddo. You should also know the pie mom sent you triggered a new obsession. Her and Zeb are in the kitchen constantly experimenting on all sorts of wild fillings and latticing. Latticing? What? Uh, Ma's not going to stop until she's the best in the village. Guess it's the gardener way. You keep your head on out there. Ay, ay, ay. Can you stop sending me emails? I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> stop sending me birds. I'm done with the birds. Don't tell me about... Don't give me every little life update on Facebook, okay? I don't need every, like, update. Yet. Like, okay, right? I I'm happy that you and your kids went to Chuck E. Cheese this weekend, but... You know, unless it's their birthday, I kind of don't care. All right, let's go. All right, let me hit it with the potion. I think I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Back out, back out, back out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did go the wrong way. Don't worry, don't worry. I caught myself. I caught myself. It's fine. We're fine. We're good. We're good. We're fine. I don't know how I'm going to combat these, uh, these little baddies, dude. I really don't know. How will I combat them? Probably won't be able to. I probably have to run away and call them cowards again. Okay, here we go. So the potion is in full effect. I'm not going near that thing, obviously. So it can F off politely. I go up. Let's go up. What is up here? What is that? Cabbage seeds. Yeah, okay. Give me another bulb. Thank you. Pick up wild bat feather. Well, there's your wild bat feather right there. Wild bat feather. The feathers of feathered... <laughs> the feathers of a feathered bat. Wait, for great filtering material, ironically, said filtering effect is even more potent when the feather is imbued. Imbued with miasma. Ripple spell potion. Did I just get another one of those? I did. Rick. God damn it. I want to explore a little bit more down here, of course. Thank you for telling me to press 1, by the way. Appreciate it. There we go. Woo! Woo! Thank you for the heads up. See? Now Hannah's coming up clutch. Now she's doing her job. Hit me again. <laughs> oh, I need my mana. Oh, I need my mana. I need to start making teas and stuff more, more often. Okay. It's getting in the flow of things here. Yeah, getting the flow of things. What is this? Saffron. Got it. Can I toggle this on and off? I guess I can. Yeah. Okay, cool. Crap, 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 crap. I'm getting too far in. I am. I'm getting too far in. I need an upgrade mask if I'm going to go this far. Yeah, I, I, I got to get an upgrade mask. I got to get mana drinks. This is just too much right now. I shouldn't be going this far in. So let's go. Let's. We have the feather. We have what we need. Let's go take it back. And um, we'll make this upgraded augment for the mask. Cool. All right. We're good. Hey, Pika. How you doing, Pika? What's going on? 
It says say the, the latticing, right? The latticing of food. Is that what it said, right? I've never heard of the latticing of food. Now that's a first for me. The latticing of food. You have a bulb. You do have a bulb. I'll take that bulb. Take that bulb on the way out. I'm good. I'm do. I'm doing good. Yeah. I hate pie pastry slash puff pastry. Do you like donuts? Do you like cake? If you tell me you don't like donuts or cake, I'd be very disappointed. Okay. Cabbage. We're running out of space in our tree. Yeah. Okay. Water? Yeah. Good. We'll let that go. Everything go doing good? Yeah? Everything is doing good. Okay, good. Great. Cool. Alright, let's make this thing, shall we? Uh, mask aug augment takes one minute to make. Very well. Go ahead and take it, and make it, and bake it. In the meantime, I'm going to go get more metal from that place, and I'm going to see if I can send off a package of metal. Got to be pro productive, yeah? Do you have a bulb? Plant forces out bulb just for cans. That's right. <laughs> Do you have a bulb? Pop. I grab. Thank you for the bulb. You love them, you just hate pie? You don't like a chocolate pie? What about a banana cream pie? I like a banana cream pie. Good. Good. There we go. I don't know if this is enough, though. I don't think it's enough. You can actually water the scrap metal, that's hilarious. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I don't think that's enough, though. I don't think that's enough metal. Is that enough metal? Five? Oh, no, that's enough. That's that's ten. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. We'll be able to send this now. Might as well grab these while I'm here. I just want to get the top one. Let me have the top one. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Leanne, how you doing? It's your first live. How you doing, Leanne? What's going on? Good to see you. Welcome in. You have a pecan pie in the freezer. I do not like pecan pie. Unpopular opinion, I know. I'm not about the pecan pie. I know. I probably crushed a lot of hearts there. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay. Upgrade item. Consumable. Permanently increases the strength of your mask filters, allowing you to stay in the miasma longer before having to return. Right. But now I need to go ahead and uh, make some beverages. I'm going to make some teas. Manatees. Not manatees. Uh, get it? Manatees? Ha ha ha. Oh, cans. You silly. I now want a chocolate pie with all the talks of pies. I like apple and berry pie. I agree. Apple pie with some vanilla ice cream on it. Nice and hot out of the oven. I'm right there with you. Lavender tea. Tea brewed from a lavender tea. Uh, lavender flowers. The color alone gives a mesmerizing calm. Make some of this. Whoop. Apple pie with a nice slice of cheddar on top. Yum. Oh my god. You are the second person to ever say that ever in the history of this channel. Amanda was the first one, and she always raved about it. God dang it. Look at you go. Try this unpopular option. I don't like pumpkin pie. Damn it. 
I'm a, uh, so if you don't like pumpkin pie, I'm assuming you don't like uh, sweet potato pie, huh? So we can drink this, right? It's a drinkable thing, yeah? Is that a drinkable thing? That is a drinkable thing, okay. Ah. I take the pecan pecans out of the pie and just eat the filling. <laughs> Hello? Salutations, this is Little Rocket Anonymous here with another request from one of our fine citizens. The tea in this town is unsatisfactory. I wish to expand the palate of both myself and my friends. Okay. Like, can I, like, send letter? There we go. Ma and Pops. I guess there we go. Uh, Ma, holy hell, we have a lot of letters to send, don't we? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I'll get back with you here later. Um, let's see here. There we go. We'll save the school first. Send items. Yes. Send. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. And there's like a ton of other things. Send three bottles of lavender, three bottles of catnip, three bottles of saffron, five loaves of cheese. Send a workbench, a cauldron, and a grill. Can I make those? I need a lot of wood, huh? Metal cluster, lavender, and wood. Okay, I see. That's going to be a sec. Okay, use the augment. Let's use it. We've now used the augment. So there we go. So using the cauldron, make a scar, make scar fertilizer. You want us to make another scar, scar fertilizer, yeah? Oops. Cauldron. Wait, cauldron. Cauldron. What do we need for that again? Oh, cotton. Got it. Done. Okay, we'll craft that up. You never tried sweet potato pie? If you try if you've never tried sweet potato pie, you probably won't like it if you don't like pumpkin pie. They kind of taste very similar. The only pies I really like are key lime and lemon meringue. Hey. I've never had key lime pie, I don't think. Hey Tech Gaming, what's going on? Okay, grab this. We've made that. Grow the second dust eater. Which I'm assuming is during that whole pathway and all that. Very well. Okay. Still can't do anything about this, can we? <laughs> no. Man, look at our crops now. We're living life. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and actually... Go a little bit harder on this. Go, cabbage, go! Cabbage patch, kids. Get it, get it. Oh, that's a big beauty right there. There we go. Nice. Have fun with that. <laughs> All right, let's go to bed now, and let's go into the uh, into the into the place. Watching cans has made me realize I didn't understand how to use Ripple Potion the entire time. Maybe I need... Now I get past the part I'm stuck at. So, it is weird because you have to, like, use the potion, but then you have to use the potion. <laughs> so, you have to equip the potion, and it's being consumed, and then you have to actually hit the hotkey to, to use it, which I didn't get at first, but because we have uh, Hannah in chat, that, that changes my entire life. So, thank you for that. But, yeah, exactly. Check the logbook for new tasks. I'll look at that later. I'm not going to. Not a fan of apple pie. How dare you? How did you get all the recipes? Um, I found a lot of recipes out in, out in the miasma here, and then I think I got some through. Um, I think I got some through. Um, I shouldn't have used that right now. I think I've gotten some through uh, doing the quests as, as well too. They found a great game. It's a couple years old, but awesome. Railway train, railways tra train simulator. I think that's the one Raptor 
plays often sometimes. I believe. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. <clears throat> I don't like... Now, this is a very old-fashioned thing. Like, anybody between born between the years of, like, 1920 and, like, 1960, they're probably... Those are, like, the generations that really love, like, cherry pie. I could eat cherry pie. I'm not like, oh, it's the best thing in the entire world, but I, I could eat a little bit of cherry pie from time to time. Okay, let's undo that. Holy crap, be careful of what you wish for. There we go. Look at me go. Look at me go. Is this a bulb? Give me your bulb. Thank you. Okay, go up. This is where the other scar is, probably, huh? Yeah, that looks like a scar if you've ever seen one before. Apply the fertilizer. Yep. I like cherry pie, but it's very sweet and sticky. Facts. This scar is healed. You must go back to Huckleberry now. Oh, okay. Let me pick up some sulfur while I'm here, though. And uh, pick up some other things. Here's a journal. Magus Order 66. <laughs> Retreat plan. The Pearl Canyon chapter's fall to the miasma spread is Im imminent. But there's still time to recover all active research and academy records. The experiments must be continued for the good of humanity. Do not... Do not, under any circumstances, return to the corrupted forest, even for personal personnel. Personnel, even for the even for personnel. F man, I'm having a hard time today. Bring all that you can carry back to Rockport. Sun bless and has, hasten your return. M G Florence Gearstone Rockport. I don't know what M G stands for. Anyways, is that a recipe? Pick up a bowl recipe. Bowl recipe and a pot recipe. There you go. The recipes are very, very small. You gotta definitely uh, look out for them or you might uh, run past them. Oh my god, what is that place? <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, let's go back to Huckleberry immediately, I guess. Even though there's such a, like, a whole new world to be explored over there. Anyways, we'll follow what the game wants us. Let Huckleberry know what happened. We'll do that. We'll definitely do that. Don't get attacked by these little dogs. Uh. I'm not afraid. There we go. I couldn't figure out how to run past those enemies. I kept running and booking it and dying at least nine times. Oh my lord. Hey, at least now you know how to do it. I know because you got an achievement. <laughs> so did you get rid of the miasma in the game? Um, I, I, I think these, yeah, these, these little eaters that we're putting down, I think they are going to take care of an area of the miasma. And then the miasma should maybe disappear in this area i think is where the game is going with this but we'll have to see but those uh oh is that another stash it keeps giving me stuff okay cool but yeah i, I guess we'll see what the game's gonna do here this keeps giving me stuff over and over i'm not mad about it it's just unusual bulb a bulb for me a bulb for me thank you So it's like uh, Song of the Evertree. Uh, yeah, I, I think. Yeah, probably like in that regard. Yeah, you could probably compare it to that. Yeah, you could probably compare it to uh, Song of the Evertree, right? Um, 
probably the best comparison you could probably yeah probably the best comparison it, it really much now that you say it it really much does uh <laughs> remind you a lot of that doesn't it anyways oh excuse me uh huckleberry it worked a second time that's great now that you're going even deeper into the miasma miasma something to balance the lightness of the cotton Tomato used to be native around these parts, but I don't know if you can still find I have tomatoes homie. I got tomatoes. Don't worry about it So learn to recipe scar fertilizer mk3 Using the cauldron makes more scar fertilizer, okay So this is gonna be tomatoes and cotton balls dude. I got you. I'm already prepared Look at my look at my farm. I'm way prepared, dude. I'm ready to go. Hey, By the way, thank you for subscribing. Lady. Appreciate it. Thank you for your subscription. Okay, here we go. How long does this take? 30 seconds. No big deal. Find another place to put the scar down. Fertilize. Or do I have to re-fertilize the scars that we have already? That's a good question, too. MG maybe is mage? I mean, in Song in the Evertree, nobody attacks you. True. True. It's a little bit more peaceful now, isn't it? <laughs> Let me grab this. Okay, grow the third dust eater. Ah! Very well. So, they do want us to continue on that road. Okay, very well. Well, I think I need to actually make some more tea if I'm going to do that. I'm going to need to make some more mana, possibly. Let's grab some more lavender. And let's water it up. Oh, I love this part of the game. I do. I'm a big fan of this part of the game. A big fan of this part of the game. My lord, spit it out there, forehead. I think it's... I mean, it's a cool... It's a cool... So far, I, I'm enjoying it. I, You know, I'm enjoying the game, for sure. Is it worth $20? I can't really answer that. Uh, at least not where I'm at right now. Um... Yeah, it, it, that, that's a hard question to add to, to like I'm not a hundred percent sold on it but I'm having a good time and there is some new kind of mechanics with this game like I kind of really love love the fact that you get to like pull the fruit and pull the stuff off of the off of the crop I think that's pretty cool um, the, the only thing is that you know I don't know how well it works on controller if it works as fluent as if it was on keyboard and mouse i don't know you know if it's hard to play this game with a controller that you know I, I i could probably see that let's go back in let's go get the third i guess dust eater down and out but i'm having a good time i am i'm having a good time does it need a little bit more direction maybe for some like some things maybe possibly does it need to be more hand holdy possibly <laughs> i'm not one to really vouch for games to be more handholdy but um maybe just a little bit more on this one possibly possibly yeah the game's on xbox game pass uh you can get it on steam uh console xbox game pass and you can get it on pc xbox game pass so if anybody has game pass pick it up download it and see if you like it for yourself. If you don't have Game Pass and you're sitting there thinking, well, should I spend the $20? That I cannot say quite yet. I can't uh, put out my own opinion on that yet. But if you have Game Pass already, just go ahead and download it right now and give it a run. Oh, no, I, I did it to myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. That scared me. <laughs> oh no, dude. Be careful. Just be careful, young man. Give me your bulb. Give me your bulb. Give me your bulb. Okay. Don't give me your bulb. Okay. Uh, be careful, be careful, be careful. That's splitting the gap. Not about it. 
Okay, I'm gonna need it. Oh god! Have some tea. Okay, this is a tricky part for sure. Let me go ahead and grab some of this. This is take full concentration. What the hell is that? No, that's that. Okay, that was a good. It was very good at catching me there. It baited me. 100% baited me. Oh my lord. Can you go away? Go away. Go home. My lord. Go home. That was crazy. Okay, this is getting spicy. I will say, it is definitely getting spicy. Give me some more cotton, I guess. Take the journal. Salutations, Academy of Recruits. Some bless the road that brought you to our doors. The Academy has been a ba bastion of scientific scientific progress for centuries. Our mission, to understand the mysteries of the miasma. Thanks to the revelation in Mismetric, mis mi Miasmetric? Half-Life identification by Academy founder uh, Weona Creeks. We confirmed that the explosion of the miasma occurred 1,800 years ago. Henceforth, the Academy adopted a B after Bloom <laughs> for timekeeping. Founded in 1774 AB, the Academy has never relented in its pursuit on of, of, of uncovering the truth. Now it's your turn to join us. While you may be thrilled at the chance to journey into the miasma, make no mistake, it's just a mysterious, awe-inspiring, and dangerous as the tales told in your youth. You will start your training after being assigned to one of the Academy chapters spread throughout the Highlands. With your help, we will discover the secrets to miasma. Welcome home, scholar. Oh, very good. You use a PS4 controller. Ah, oh, very well. The animated world is cool. Reminds me of the game's Dragon Lair. I've never heard of Dragon Lair. Hey, Grandma Miki. What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Hoppy. How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in. Nice. So, this doesn't do anything then, right? What is that, actually? Now thinking about it. Just an... It looks like an arrow. Yeah, let's go down here. Looks like some... Uh, Spell Potion? Shadow Spell Potion? Spell Potion transforms a caster into a figure of shadow, making them undetectable to new eyes. Will not fool those who already had their sights on the caster. Matilda Gardner wrote this spell with the help of the familiar and research from the Academy. Had she lived longer, she would have. She could have perfected the spell and removed its one weakness. Journal. After many moons and melted cauldrons, I think I figured out how to craft a variation of the shadow spell that will cover me from head to toe. Huck was the one who suggested the use of tomatoes with their innate, innate protective properties. I suppose it would make sense that he would know how to disappear better than anyone else. The spell still has its flaws, however, I tried casting it while in the sights of the feathered bat. And it was able to perceive me as a nothing had changed. Regardless, progress is progress. Oh, interesting. And Matilda made this. It must be fairly powerful then. Hmm, interesting. Shadow spell potion recipe. Nice. Um, okay. Oh! Ah! Ah! What the heck is this? Bless! I've come up with a better way to get past the hoppers. I found a recipe for a supposed shadow spell. And somehow, while I'm casting it, they don't pay any attention to me. Even if I get close, their eyesight must be horrendous. Now, my trips to and from the academy will be far quicker. Awesome. So that is pretty cool to see. So that's how we get to over there, then. We have to use the shadow cast to be able to go that way. Very well. Anything in this direction? Oh, crap. I'm running out of tea, dude. Um, hold off on that for now. Actually, hit it. Hit it one time. So there's another place that we can use for sulfur. Or the blasting, right? Must have blasting powder. Okay. Very well. Okay. Very well, very well, very well. Um, let's see. Let's head back. We got to make that shadow figure, I guess, and then make some blasting powder as well. Oh, what a name. This thing is... <laughs> it is so, like, okay, like... A lot of back and forth so far. All right. We'll continue. But I am guessing the seed, the fertilization that we need is right over there beyond that. At the academy. 
Anyways, here we go. Okay, okay. I think if I remember correctly, just stay to the yeah, stay to the right, stay to the right, stay to the right. No! Don't stay to the right. Ay, ay, ay. So scary. So scary. All right, we're out of it. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, let's go back home. Lord have mercy. Dragon Lair was awesome. Don't know if you've seen your DM on Discord. I haven't checked my DMs in like the really the past like 24 hours. Let's see. Uh, let's head on back. Dun, 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 dun. But I do have a lot of DMs. I just haven't uh, got back to anybody yet, really. There's another stash right there. Ooh, baby. Some more silver. That's a lot of silver, too. That's not a little about a silver. That's a lot of silver. Nice. I do like the chest reappearing with new stuff every time. That's kind of fun. It's helpful, too. All right, so we're going to need a lot of stuff before we go and, like, come back into here. We're going to need more potions. We're going to need more sight potions. Give me that. No. Need more sight potions. And then I guess this whole, like, weird shadow recipe thing that we got going on. <sighs> all right, all right. Is it late? It is 20 hundred. Considering how much back and forth you need to do, the reappearing chests are handy. Yeah, I know, right? It's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Cotton seedling? I mean, having another cotton thing might be good, possibly. Let's put it down another one. There you go. And then let's go here to here. And that should be good. We'll let that roll. All right. We're going to need to make a lot of tea. Uh, possibly even a lot more food after we got our ass kicked back there. What is this again? Oh, this is the shadow spell. Oh, so that is the shadow spell. Oh, so we didn't just get the recipe for it. Also, we got the actual spell, so we could have probably used it then. That's all right. So what do we need for this? Boiled cabbage and tomatoes and silver. Okay. Right. We're going to need some more corn. Cool. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Some more corn and then cabbage. A large leafy vegetable that turns purple as it matures. Isn't there like green cabbage and purple cabbage? Uh, green lettuce and purple lettuce? That's the thing, yeah. Some of that too. What the heck? I thought I heard somebody humming. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal, Hoppy. Yeah, no big deal. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A bull, a fence, a fence post. There's so much like cool stuff that you kind of want to maybe try to do, but maybe not. Maybe not right now, right away. Oh, yeah, we need the blasting powder, too. Definitely need that. And then boil, I guess, cabbage. Corn pudding. Boiled cabbage. Make a few of those. A lot of those. And then we'll make the, uh, whatever the shadow thing is, yeah? We'll make another one. An extra one. Cool. Damn, that's big. A staple in households born from a necessity of food frugality, frugality. Boiled cabbage has fed far more families than it has than it has fans. Okay. Cook the produce. Let's get the grilled onions on there as well. Go. 
there we go. And also get the beverages. Get those going too. Hey, Mrs. Hose here. How you doing? What's going on? Purple lettuce? Do they have purple lettuce, right? Or am I making things up? People are not a fan of it. Is that what that meant? That's true. Am I making purple lettuce up? That's Huck who is humming. It's a little creepy. There we go. We'll let that go. There is purple letters. Oh, okay. I wasn't making that up. All right. <laughs> I was making sure. I was like, wait a sec. Hang on. <laughs> I love cabbage. I like cabbage. I like, um, I do like cabbage. I'm a, I'm a big fan of cabbage. But I'm I, honestly, I'm a big, I'm a like cabbage with some. Uh, oh God, cabbage and um, corned beef. Thank you. Yes, I'm about it. I'm about it. I'm a big Brussels sprout fan as well. Yeah, I do like me that. Okay, let's make some ripples. Two of those should be firing. That was one. Two. I need a tomato. Let me grab a tomato. Thank you, tomato. Rather have two of these also on me. Potions. Just one. One, please. How are you and the missus? We're doing good. Yeah, we're doing good. Hanging in there. Doing just as good as you can, right? I guess. <laughs> Raw cabbages are known for me. Coleslaw is a no. You know, I agree. I agree with the coleslaw. I'm not a big coleslaw fan. I'm not, I'm not a big coleslaw fan, but I'm also not a big potato salad fan. I know. I don't like celery. I don't like having the onions and the celery and the potato salad. Like, come on now. I ain't about that. No, 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 no. All right, I think we're ready to go. We can have like a little bit of a uh, little bit of grilled onion. I ain't about that. I ain't working it. Now, how does this work? We drink it. Okay, that drinks it. Okay. Very well. Whew. Potato salad is just potatoes here. Only I like is this the one mom makes. See, I like the more simpler. So basically for me, the more simpler the potato salad is the better it is for me people make some crazy stuff with potato salad i love potato salad but the but not with yes but not with the onions and the pickles that's what i'm saying the texture and the flavors throw me off i'm right there with you yeah you throw in the onion the celery the, the pickles it's like no this is not i i want something unhealthy please for the love of god Don't give me no pickles, no celery, no, no onion. Like, come on now. I feel bad because like Danielle's mom makes like potato salad, you know, and she's like, oh, she'll like send send over potato salad because Danielle likes potato salad, right? And she's like, here, this is for the both of you. I'm like, thanks. But I'm like, I'm not really gonna eat this. It goes the same with her peach cobbler too. I'm not a big fan of peach cobbler. Like she'll send over a peach cobbler. I'm like, thanks. Thank you for your thought. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Danielle eats eats the potato salad and the peach cobbler, but I'm not uh, I'm not partaking in the events there. Oh. F off. F off. Thank you. Okay. Give me a little bit of a snack. Mm. 
thank you. <laughs> now, I, I like pickles, and I like onions on other things. I don't like it on the freaking uh, potato salad, though. But I do not like celery. In any given time, any given thing, like, ever. Celery is not good ever. I hate celery. Honestly, don't know why it even exists. Put celery in the stuffing for Thanksgiving? Hell no, brother. What are you doing? Give me the box stuff. I don't want your fancy homemade uh, stuffing. I want it straight out of the box. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Get ready. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. How are you supposed to switch between? How are you supposed to know? I guess you're not supposed to know. Pick up Arcane Catalyst. Sure, dude. These powerful pockets of energy can sometimes be found in the wild. Supposedly, they can help a witch expand their mind. Expand their mind. I got, do I have to, like, go back and forth? Wait, how am I supposed to... That's difficult, dude. I can't go back and forth. I don't think I can afford that. Shit. Are you really supposed to go back and forth? Oh my god. Oh my god. Cabbage ceiling. Sure, dude. Applesauce recipe? Yeah, right. Tomato soup recipe? Nice. Compost? Sick. I'm good with potatoes, mayo, mustard, and some paprika. Yes, dude. You know who, you know that, that all, oh, frick. You know, that, that reminds me is when people overcomplicate the uh, deviled eggs. Nah, dude, don't, 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 don't. Don't overcomplicate the deviled eggs. Light Sprite jar recipe, Corinne recipe, date pie recipe. Don't overcomplicate the deviled eggs. Don't overcomplicate the potato salad. Okay, I need to have some tea. This is tough, dude. This is tough, because how am I supposed to know where to go? You're not! <laughs> ah, you nerds. Continue, continue, continue. Just keep going. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm just going, dude. I'm just following. People back home would declare me insane for saying this, but I absolutely adore feathered bats. Look at their beautiful eyes, their gorgeous wings, but say, safe to say they do not adore me. All the same, I want to see them up close. The best I can do is cast Gardner's shadow spell, but I still need to keep my distance. As soon as one glares at me, I need to move on before the bat or the light burns my spell off. Filter mass report. Ah, very well. Esteemed Academy Magus Azira Redfinger has perfected the Mi, uh, Misama Miasma, sorry, filter formula. The ability to explore the deep cloud is a critical step in its study and far from the only way that the Ezra's, Ezra's invention has unlocked new avenues for the Academy. Sales to Little Rock's homesteaders, explorers, and merchants is bringing real money into the Academy. Plans to open up new chapters are already underway. Our research must expand with the Miasma if we hope to contend with its spirit. Frick. Hey, K-Fam, how you doing? What's going on? Celery with cream cheese? What the frick? What are deviled eggs? Um... It's hard to, I mean, it's not hard to explain, but somebody definitely could explain it. It's just greatness. That's what it is. That's my explanation. <laughs> All right, here we go. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Nerd. There it is. Is that it? It is. Hooray. We did it! We found the third one. 
How are you staying in the miasma so long? Uh, we had a filter mask uh, upgrade. We did, yeah. Upgraded the, the mask filter on it. The miasma thins considerably, practic uh, partic particularly uh, to the west. A searing ray of light now circles the canyon. Go beyond the ruins of the academy and take a closer look at the distant light. Okay. Oh my god. What is this? What the hell is that? In the distance, you see a searing light. Its rotating path leaves behind smoke in the scent of scorched earth. It looks to be emitting, emin, emanating, oh my god, from a giant dust eater. The tree is definitely in need of healing, but you'll need to find a way to turn off that light first. What? Unlatch the three mechanisms around the dust eater? Okay. Holy crap, dude. This is getting complicated now, isn't it? Probably should switch over to the spirits. We built the, these mechanisms to prevent the dust eater from overloading from miasma, but I have a theory they may be doing the exact opposite. These locks will instead trap the miasma in the earth, causing excess energy to spill out. In case I'm right, and I'm rarely wrong, I'm making it simple to unlock and remove locks. Even a non-magus should be able to figure it out. In this scenario, there also needs to be someone who can channel the dust eater. Once it's been freed, that should stop further agitation. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's the other one. Just don't get hit by the light, I assume? Go! Don't go! Go back! <laughs> oh no! This is the way down. Alright, this is the way. Okay, don't get hit by the light. Okay, there's the other lever. Go, 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 go. Okay, that has been done. Watch out, it's coming. Wait for it, 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 wait for it. Go. I don't know where I'm going next. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Go back, go back, go back. I don't know what happens if the light catches me, dude. I don't know. Now I gotta get, get, get to the other side. I'm running out of time with my mask, too. That's what's really hurting. Okay, I gotta get over there. Go, I guess. Like, how do I get over there? Oh, I think I see, maybe? Oh, I see, I see. I think I go this way? No? Oh, dude, I don't know how to get over there. Oh, down there. I see it. Okay, down there. Got it. Okay, let's eat. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Focus. Go. Okay, wait for the light. Wait for the light and go. I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. There we go. We've done it. Get a closer look at the damaged dust eater. Got it. No problem. Do I better be able to teleport back? Heal Miasma Scar. Oh. Did that fix everything? At least everything around us. Are we not in the miasma anymore? Oh, look at that. Nice. I think it cleared. Yeah. Oh, 
god, the creepy, uh... This is different. Hermit, I guess? You were... different. I need to rethink my calculations. Need to rethink... a great number of things. This will help you travel. Well, I haven't got the need for this anymore, but you might. Dude, do we get a broom? Oh my god. Did we get a fast travel system? Are we a true witch? Yeah, baby! We got a broom. Awesome. Wow. You really did it. I did. It's been at least a century since I've seen this canyon so clean. Imagine if Tilly saw this. Wait, is that a, is that a fine broom? I've never seen one in person before. Where did you get that? Some lady gave it to me. <laughs> is this the same person you saw before? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. I wouldn't trust anyone out here. Even if they gave me a nice broom like that. Uh, no voice here? Anyway, this is all pretty amazing, huh? And hey, look, at this sapling, I bet you can... Uh, okay. Now that the miasma's gone, we can explore the canyon together. That was weird. Oh, I can already think of a bunch of fun things we can do. So, whenever you're up for that, let me know, alright? Explore the canyon. Enter the forest. Your broom makes you go faster. You can call your broom with a Q and mount it anywhere outside the miasma. You can't dismount over water, though. Pearl Canyon Dust Eater. Um, an infant dust eater grown in the revived Pearl Canyon. It is capable of restoring soil and aiding in the growth of other plants. So wait, can I run it, dude? Oh, baby. And you can fast travel. Oh, that's too cool. Now, wait a sec. Is the game suggesting that I build a shelter here? I think it is. Or build something here. That's a shelter, dude. What the heck? There's so much happening. Can I fly over like... No, okay. So this must be the forest then. Okay. I mean, you want to go back to the academy, I think, so to speak, right? So wait a sec, you can just fast travel anywhere you want now? So we're there. Oh god, I just fast traveled there? I think you can fast travel to all the trees, or all the, um... All the scars, or that used to be, I should say. In that case, let me head back home? Head back home, yeah. Hey there, Awful Gaming, what's going on? What's going on? How you doing? All right, yeah. Let's 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 turn in for the night. There we go. We'll reset the night, and then I might discover a lot of other things going on at the academy. But they do want us to enter the forest. Oh, we got a package. Cans, your brother and I had an exciting day in the kitchen. Uh, the spell I infused with the pie. I infused the pie with caused a minor explosion. I tried to tell your pops he was going to hurt himself using more arcane energy so soon, but he went ahead and used a fire suppressant spell anyways. He doesn't need to keep doing it him doing it all himself, stubborn man. Crab apple corn flour in a date. Take. Thank you. A date. A desert does desert or dessert? Desert? Dessert? Desert? Dessert? Frick. <laughs> a dessert fruit? A desert fruit? Which one has the two S's? I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. For its intense uh, sweetness, cultivating it without witchcraft has been difficult due to its need of arid climate. Very good. And corn flour. What is a rare in these parts? So almost all baked goods use corn flour. Have a go, Grandma Miki. Do take care. You like, uh, you like, uh, dates as well, yeah? 
Dessert is the eating kind. Okay, so that was a desert fruit then. Okay, very well. Salutations! This is Little Rock Anonymous here with another request from one of our fine citizens. My brother thinks corn is the most versatile fruit. I don't even know if corn is even a fruit, but in any case, I want to prove him wrong with variety of apple dishes. Very well. Desert is a place and dessert is a sweet treat. It's the, always the S's that throw me off. It is. It's the S's. Me and the children were so excited when we received your package, but at Little Rock, we rebuilt it in no time. Uh, some of the kids remind, of, remind me of you when you were in class. Energetic, smart, always interested in helping. Try not to let life change you too much, Cans. Uh, with the building fixed and foundation fortified, we were thinking of adding a new wing if you're able to assist further. Hello? My congregation has been praying for your safety. Son, bless your noble purpose. I'm writing you to humbly request some patronage. Pat patronage? The field of worship's pews and altar can only last so many seasons before it degradation. Uh, it renders the field unusable. Is this uh, Father Benjamin, I guess? All right. We would be forever grateful. All right. It's clear your skills at as a homesteader and which and a witch have climbed to new heights. You've proven yourself capable of taking on more responsibility and challenges, so we'll start by entrusting the retrieval of more elusive and volatile materials. Okay, right. With improved skills comes increased responsibility. Time to rise to the occasion. Little Rock storage stocks have shown a decline in stock and is in need of refilling. The council will be paying double for the next seven days. Very well. My lord, everybody wants everything from me. But my god, look at it now. It all looks good with the with the um, miasma gone. It looks so beautiful now. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah. Have a good one, Miss Osir. Do take care. Gina, what's going on, Gina? Gina says, I finally caught a live. How you doing, Gina? What's happening? How you doing? Good to see you. Dessert has two S's because you always want seconds. That's the greatest thing I've ever heard. By the way, hello, Kay. That's so awesome. That's a great way to put it. Because you always want seconds. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and send ourselves back to the Academy. Can we go to the Academy, yeah? We, can, we can't fast travel to the Academy. But we can at least go near the Academy. We're going to go to the Academy and look around there for a bit. Because everything should be... Oh, my God, it looks so good. Everything is all open now. Everything should be friendly. Nothing should ever pop up at us. Like this. A yucca tree. Give me the yucca fruit. Its young fruit is meaty and best served slice. Makes an alright midday snack in a pinch, I guess. I can't see the top. I guess there's nothing on the top. Maybe come over here and grab this. Thank you. Let's go this way. Ooh. What is that? Cotton seedlings again. We'll take it. Oh, let me grab that too. The, um... The, uh... The animation with the broom is kind of fun. Seems like you can only get to certain places, too. What the hell is this? An incense? An incenser? Incenser? A savory herb? It's often burnt. Oh, okay. It's an incense. Yeah. There we go. Take all that. <laughs> Silver. And then make space for that. Tomato seedling. There we go. Cool. Whoop. What's up there, though? Nothing? Oh, nothing. Is that everything? I think I got everything. Can we go this way, yeah? Yes, we can. Silver. Silver. And a... Make space inventory spot. Very well. Very well. You're playing hardball with me game a little bit. There's so many awesome things I want to grab. Does it need a two spot? It needs a more. Ah. 
Lesser Miasma ball, Bulb. Instead of crafting. Oh, no. Old sketchbook. One of Aunt Matilda's old belongings. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Wonder if there will be new stuff where the Miasma has, has was previously. Yeah, probably, right? Yeah. Have a good one, Hop, Hoppy. Do take care. Fern, Fern says, I've been watching your Dinkum playthrough. I'm only on day seven, so I figured I'd take a break and catch a live of a different game. Oh, how you doing, Fern? Good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah, you got a long road if you... <laughs> You're dealing with the dinkum. You got a long road ahead of you, for sure. But I'm glad for you to come on in and say hello. Let's see. Let's go here. We'll drop one of these yuccas. I might as well drop a tea while I'm here, too. I can make tea, no problem. Uh, actually, let's bring that back and go like this. Maybe like that to like that. Do I really need that many bulbs? That's the real question. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. There we go. Old sketchbook, a handbook. The pages have been withered and faded by the miasma, but a few drawings are still visible. Can I use it? We're good. We're good. Continue. I think this is with the that one spot where I was like, oh, we need to blow it up, maybe? I'm breaking it, dude. Might be even a shortcut for all I know. <laughs> the foot out. That's hilarious. How's the weather here? Uh, the weather in California is sunny and hot. Sunny and hot. Yeah. You have a tornado watch in Philadelphia? Oh, my lord. There's a lot of people that are having a lot of tornado watches recently, yeah? What is this? Metal. Actually, I think I can actually use it. Yeah, I can grab this. Not use it, but I can at least grab it in storage. Have an in inventory here. Have enough room for it. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta explore this little... Oh, God. We gotta explore this little area a bit. Hey yo. <laughs> the animation on the broom is hilarious, dude. I can't get over it. Like the the one footer putting out there. It's kinda cool. Wait, that door. That door. Where did that door go to? Wait, where did that go to as well? I'm not a good uh broom uh goer, am I? Hello? I have so much stuff on me though. Crystal construction report. Academy scholars have been monitoring the crystal growths, three in total, surrounding by dying dust eater tree throughout the week. We have since attached machinery to lock these growths in to evaluate the crystal's efforts of the miasma infection present in the tree cells. If the tree can be purged of the miasma's presence, then this will be a glorious step forward for the Academy and a research. I thought that said craft, but that said chat with the cat. More silver? More silver. Nice. Okay. Let's go up. My husband's thinking about crazy starting. Uh, my, so far, my husband thinks I'm crazy starting at the very beginning. <laughs> No, you're not crazy. If you want to know the full story and the full true story of that island, you got to start from the beginning, for sure. Oh, it wasn't a door. I thought it was a door. Definitely not a door? Huh. Okay. I think that was pretty much all here at the academy. Backtrack a little bit. And go over the water, yeah? Nice. That's a nice touch. Man, you can get around so well now. 
Is that is, what the hell is that? Is that a cactus? That is a cactus. Cactus fruit. Another cactus fruit. Okay, very well. Another seedling of some sort. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me up there. There you go. Maybe, possibly. No. Okay. Well, we're gonna head back to uh, to the homestead. What is this? It's another new plant. Oh my god, there's so many new stuff. Oh wait, let's go back to the Matilda's house. Matilda. Everything good here? I guess so. Everything's just fine. <laughs> Everything's just fine. I'll be happy for the rain. Maybe it'll knock out all this pollen. Yeah, right. We got a lot of rain uh, this winter. Uh, we did. We did get a lot of rain. It was almost as much as like the rain we the, the rain they said we got like in what is it el nino el nino like in the 90s dude when it used to rain a lot we almost got just as much as that rain this year which was really nice all the lakes are full now which is awesome and the snow is packed the snow is definitely packed which is also double awesome also double awesome there we go. What is this flower? Okay, so we'll leave this here. Leave that there. Transfer over quite a bit of stuff here. Crab apple, tomatoes. Probably cook those. Uh, use the, what the heck is this? The arcane crystal. Uh, the cabbage, the tomato seeds, and the cotton seeds. It's quite a bit. I don't think we need in, like those right now. Pearl canyon dust. I don't know if we need that right away. I guess we need to go into the forest to answer those questions. Let's put those scraps away, maybe. Okay. Liquid sunlight. I'm going to put that away since, you know, we're trying to use it, but not so much. It's not working. Is this silver? Can we not stack 100 silver? We can't. Okay. Interesting. Put the compost in there and put the boiled cabbage in there, too. Cool. It looks so pretty though. It does. It really, really does. It does. This game this game looks really good. I gotta take a screenshot, dude. Okay, let's go sleep and then I think we're gonna enter the forest and see what that's all about. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Be a lot of um new plants and fruits that we still can get from the uh cleared out miasma. Miasma. I wonder if you'll be able to get more like like clothes and things like that too. More more outfits. Oh god, here we go. Salutations, this is Little Rock Anonymous, here with another request from one of our fine citizens. Abraham was telling me about dates, which I've never heard of before. Apparently they're a fine substitute for sugar. I want to see for myself. Uh, Kans, you know, I felt the damnedest thing the other day, channeling flowers on the Winswill, Winzo, window, windowsill, sorry, windowsill, <laughs> never really actually seen that word spelled, spelled out before, um, breath, breathing was just easier, the air lighter, refreshing, even, looking down the mountain, I could swear the miasma clown was less dense at the border, perhaps it's a sign from the sun, uh, whatever the cause, it's a true blessing, or maybe, you know, I did it. Open the package. Howdy, cans. My name is Ruby, another witch from Redfield. I'm mapping the Miasma's border. Redfield's records are real out of date. Abraham thought he saw me talking to myself and suggested I contact you. I was actually talking to my my familiar, Archibald. But he's mute, so Abraham was sort of right. I hope we can be pen pals. I wanted to propose a trade. Some wood for a little lavender. 
I've included a token of goodwill. Wood for lavender. Probably can give you that now. What things can I give right away? A little bit of that. I can probably do a lot of these now, huh? There's a lot, a lot. 30 logs. My god. 30 wood logs. Oh, we're hungry. Whoops. Let's eat a little something. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and send over to the forest and see what the forest is about. Okay. I know they want a shelter here. It seems that way. But I just want to take a look. I just want to take hey a look. There. Oh, God. Where are you off to? I'm off to the forest. Uh, clearing out more miasma. Already? Yeah. Got here. Mm hmm. Well, you're probably going to want to thin out the miasma first. So miasma? New fertilizer recipes. I've had some experience in the forest, so I think I got a pretty good idea of what ingredients should work. You'll want to start with a pumpkin base. Pumpkin base? Deeper in, look for some peppers, and later you'll want soybeans. But, uh, focus on pumpkins for now. Then you can start doing the real work of restoring the land. Okay. So, the pet... Whoa, 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 whoa. So much text. So much text, dude. So much text. What do you want from me? Find a pumpkin seedling in the forest. Oh, frick. I should probably have one of those spirits on me, huh? Probably a good idea. I'm going in anyways. The rippling effect potion. Oh, my lord. The forest is kind of cool looking. Give me your... Miasma bulb. Not a lesser bulb, but a regular one, I guess, right? Don't get upset with me. Oh, take a journal. Report of the Spring 24. Scholar Fern Peak has discovered a new use for the Miasma shrubs. He was retrieving a sample for when a Miasma creature came within arm's reach. Traditionally aggressive upon contact, Fern Peak went unnoticed by the creature. Hypothesis, the shrubs' miasma mutations accelerate the development of an evolutionary trait to prevent them from being eaten. The plants render themselves and anything within its appendages camouflaged. Hmm. Ooh. Give me another one. I'm scared to go a little further because I don't know if there's going to be any, like, baddies that will come at me but there's a pumpkin seed right there so that's sick so the small sprouts are already incredibly tall well there we go so we got our pumpkin seedling create a jar of forest scar forest or fertilizer okay so we got what we wanted yeah the forest could probably have some sear ay 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 there it is it scared the crap out of me Go away. Honestly, go away. Yeah, could have some dangerous things in it. <laughs> Can you use your broomstick in here? You can't? Frick. Broomstick not allowed. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. Cool. And then I'll just have to build another shelter, I guess, over here to make things a little bit easier for me to go. So it kind of seems like where this game's direction is heading is is, is, a, is a little bit the same thing. Go to another area. Uh, clear out another this. Now this area here, it looks like there's a lot of going on. There's like forest and then maybe like a giant something there. Um, and then there's another part to the, uh, to the map, which I assume you do the same thing until it's a full circle, right? So it's interesting to see that this game is also, you know, it's going to be going into a little bit of a repeated pattern. But one thing I was thinking that was going to happen in this game, um, and I don't know if it just hasn't happened yet, is I was thinking there was going to be like NPCs or something or other characters to interact with. So far, uh, nothing seems to be of that case other than maybe Abraham. And if you want to count the cat, but nothing else has been, you know, we haven't seen any other people. 
And I know it's like a very desolate place where like it's a very dangerous place to be, right? That's true, right? And there's not going to be people living in these places, but I guess not, right? Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, let me grab a little bit of compost. There you go. But it does seem like it's going to have like this full thing, you know. There we go. Oh, and the weird woman. Yeah, the, the, what was her name? I forgot her name. The witchy woman. There we go. Let's get the pumpkins going. There we go. <laughs> what was it? I forgot the weird woman's name. Okay, not too purpley. Not too purpley. That's not purplish. There we go. Don't mess with it now. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's where we're going to stop it in today's stream. If y'all enjoyed today's stream and you want to see some more Homestead Arcana, please let me know. Hit the like button. I just realized it was a three hours. We went a little bit over three hours, but that's all right. Um, if you want to see more uh, Homestead Arcana, make sure to hit the like button. If you're watching this in the VOD, hit the, you know, go down below and start commenting and let me know if you want to see more. You know, that's the only way I want to, that's the only way I know if people want to see more of these games. If you're hitting that like button, you know, that like button is more powerful than you think, right? Anyways, it was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool game, um, for sure. You'll want to pick it up for yourself, 1999, USD, Steam, pick it up on Game Pass. You can pick it up on Game Pass, or you can pick it up on Xbox if you want to buy it on Xbox. It is a console game. Not on PlayStation, not on the Switch. I don't think so. I don't think it's on any of those. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's that. I want to say a special thank you to the developers for sending me a key to check out this game and show it off to y'all. Hopefully this three-hour stream, if anything, maybe gave you a more of an educational uh, look at the game so that you can maybe go out and purchase it for yourself or not purchase it for yourself or add it to your wish list and wait for a sale to go on. I don't know, whatever, you know, I'm sure you can figure that out yourself. <laughs> Anyways, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for, uh, thank you, uh, Becca, for the 10 gifted memberships today. Thank you very much, Becca. I appreciate that. And thank you for the people that subscribed today in today's uh, stream. Uh, thank you all. We'll be back tomorrow with a couple more streams, so watch out for that. And uh, hopefully I talk to you tomorrow with two streams. Watch out, two streams. It's going to be a long one tomorrow, and I hope you're there uh, with me as well. Anyways, you all do take care, and it was a pleasure and honor to be with you today. See ya.